Yeah, I'm down right next to the wall. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I am. Where did I end up? Uh, you were still on the... Well, no, wait. No, no is... Oh, I'm way over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. You you finished off the ogre. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. That was the last one, I think. That was the last thing that happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it, it, man, it's been... Jesus. Four... Because... Four months? months? Yeah. And, uh, like four? Okay, Close cool. Uh, so, we we missed that one. Then we're going to reschedule. And that was too much. Got it. Uh, yeah. Fresh off the heels of victory. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, we had a, a cloud mage that you guys took. Well, uh, actually, it was kind of running running the show here for a little bit. Empowered the the shape shifting half orcs, uh, who all are followers of Talos, and it seemed like the ogres had hitched their wagon to these folk uh, for whatever reason. Ogres be ogres, and uh, yeah, made uh, it was a brutal battle. Uh, both sides suffered uh, losses, but uh, the good guys came out on top. And a little less bruised. Uh, Mr. Business being probably the most bruised, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, out of the bunch. Well, unless you count Greik uh, overall taking the punches. But um, Greik anyway. is covered in wounds, and all the hair Crispy on bear. the bear is standing straight up and charred because he's taking yeah. <laughs> a bleeding mass of black, spiky hair at this point. Yeah. Like straight up, uh, like Wile E. Coyote style, everything's just uh, fried on the. And I, I meant to, uh, I didn't do it, but the the last like uh, f uh, wave of electricity that the the mage released out should have done like a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Uh, but anyway, it might have taken out anyone who was left on the bad on the bad guy side uh, if the timing had worked out. <laughs> so, but that was cool. Um, and, uh, just for, cause we can, it just doesn't help anything, um, uh, story wise. We can just say that that really was like we, like somebody said, uh, last time it, like, uh, it acted as a, uh, um, uh, what are they called? The, uh, the, uh, the defibrillator. defibrillator. Yeah. That the paramedics use and like brought, uh, at least stabilized, uh, Mr. Business or, you know, brought him out of death <laughs> saves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, Cal, I think you were as well, yeah, right? You the, were already One of the okay. druids. Yeah, one of the druids. Yeah. We got a combat that one of the druids right. came. I saw you said it. The last druid. I think we're down to it's New just, Bear 1 was the, yeah. <laughs> the last one. One standing. druid left. <laughs> So uh, yes, we uh, the unnamed druids uh, they fell uh, and uh, called leaf and trunk. Leaf and trunk fell, and then there's uh, Numbear one left with Liverless, a very pretty damaged Liverless, um, but alive, who, alive, but alive. Yes, uh, he <laughs> thrives. I would not thrive. He, he's alive. He survived the onslaught of ogre, uh, uh, um, ballista. Rock. No, no yeah. the projectiles and. Uh, the assault of other things. I don't know or, if he got hit by lightning. I'm not sure. I don't think so. No, he didn't. So, but man, it's brutal. Uh, and then all uh, climaxed with uh, you guys taking out the Gorthok, the the champion of this group of uh, Anchorites of Talos, and uh, the, yeah, the would be uh, the champion of the, the the Storm Mage in the sky. Uh, before she vanished, or, or at least portaled away, and which sent down crashing a, uh, a very quite large uh, gong that was, uh, yeah, large, <laughs> and it crashed through the roof of the shrine, which is still. So you guys, I think, haven't even all this occurred outside of the shrine. I think well, you guys scaling the tower was the closest uh, you guys yeah. got to actually. <laughs> Penetrating the shrines, but it, you know, uh, still all the bad guys got. Why they were all uh, uh, un? What's it called? Uh, sent to go fight you anyway. So, cool. Um, and since my recent DMs Guild purchase of all the monster loot stuff, we got uh, a lot of cool shit 
to clean up here. But if you guys want to, so well, yeah, um, we'll just jump right back in. So the the clouds above you, uh, the violent thunderstorm dissipates, but I'll say there's still kind of soft rumblings, and the rain is now uh, light rain, it, but it's still there. And um, is if, we, if we started around midnight, or did we start around uh, just nightfall? I think it was pretty late. Yeah, so we planned into the night, but so it's only been is when we probably started. combat yeah, all a few minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. uh, man, I want to I want to see it in real time. This would be in a movie. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we'll just uh, say it's maybe uh, two a.m. Is that fair? Uh, moon shining bright, and that's where we pick up. Speaking of picking up, what are you guys doing? Picking up after picking up your pieces of yourselves after the. Well, I know there was a necklace that was dropped, so Mando will waltz over to uh, pick yeah. that up. Yeah, I called it out. <laughs> it okay. was in this area, right? If, yeah, yeah, it was over here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, and you, you find it. It's easily. Uh, it's, oh, wait, it is there someone out. like knocked out? Uh, two people are <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Business and Cal. <laughs> oh, I would go there first. <laughs> so, but Mr. Business was stabilized by Cal. <laughs> but so Mando will go over and attempt to stabilize Cal. Well, I think the druid stabilized me before last. Yeah, they're stable. They're just unconscious. Oh, they're just unconscious. So I go yeah, just, make sure just they're alive them. and <laughs> just give them a quick once. They're, okay, yeah, they're living. And then go pick up the necklace and then come back. Yeah. Mr. Business, I'll turn him right side up. He like shuffles to really has no idea what just happened. Because the last thing he remembers was a, a lightning bolt coming at him. And then <laughs> one of his eyes is gone. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, they're okay. Uh, but Mr. Business goes back to the wagon, though. <laughs> <laughs> goes I'm back to the wagon. He doesn't even wake up. It's just a spectral finger comes out and grabs on and just, just wheels yep. it back to the wagon. Or Mario, the yeah, the big hand. The, <laughs> here you go. So okay, cool. Uh, do we want to like uh, kind of scavenge the area or press press further in? What, what shall we do? Hmm. Well, taking a moment to just take in the scenery and validate that we are in fact free from danger and uh, looking over the battlefield, Mando will turn to Grike and Null and say shit that was that was intense <laughs> uh, I was not expecting I... such a formidable opponent I was going to just uh, nod in, in acknowledgement <laughs> uh, if you could understand Bear you would hear through the roar that uh Reich doesn't think it's over and is not dropping this form until we're sure that they're dead. <laughs> I mean, if you want to... Greg's a little scared right now. That's fair. A lot of... <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> He's just like, nope. A mm, little, little bit of PTSD. Just, just a smidge. Okay. So I'll... So I can't get up still, can I? I'm just... I'm just You're still technically still unconscious down. for like 1d4 hours or something like that if we have no means of reviving you. <laughs> okay. Well, crap. <laughs> oh, wait. Potions. Do I have any potions? I have one I can give. I was about to say, y'all should have like a I few... Have at least one. I've got one spell slot left. 
Hmm? I have spell slots, just no. I had no healing. Yeah, I've got healing. <laughs> Mary, call it, call it. Yeah, the healers are down. The healers are down. <laughs> call it, call it. Uh, I thought I had one. Okay. I don't. I don't see any in my inventory. Me neither. I thought I had one. Yeah, I don't think we've had too many of them. Does the extra, um, the normal druid, have any spells? I can look. And, yeah, number one. So let's go over to him. I'm pretty sure Job Biden had some potions. Whenever <laughs> oh, we yeah, Job had like all of them. Yeah, I was he, about to say, I'm going to go into stuff. The oh, and I think <laughs> and I think Tyrion had some as well. Hold on. Are we just going to we're just raiding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mando just throwing lifeless bodies around. Yeah, runs yeah. back to the pile of bodies that we have in store. <laughs> rifles through their pockets. Magical potion. It is both within reach at all times, yet at not in reach by combat means. It is right. both there and not there. Schrodinger's <laughs> inventory. Right. Well, Job didn't put it in his inventory. Tyrion... I know y'all had more than what has been consumed, though. Like, I know... Are you sure about that? Because my inventory doesn't say so. <laughs> Potion of healing. Uh, Tyrion has at least one. That's what I thought. Alright, consume it for Cal's Cal. benefit. Boom. It is done. So, Cal, you want to roll so that? Is it 2d4 plus 4? Yeah. That's what I say. How much is it? 2d4 Can plus 2. Hear? You heal okay, six. I, I heal six. Okay. <gasps> Actually, no. You're when you're stabilized. You're. Are you at one hit point or zero? I think you're at one HP, but unconscious when you're stabilized. So, so you go up to seven, seven total. Yes, yeah, so you'll be at seven, seven total. Yeah. Yeah, Cal. When I was looking at these earlier, it said one in your little red, but then just now it doesn't say anything. But yeah, it should be up to seven if you were at one. Yeah. I got it up to seven right now. All right. So I'm up. Um, look around. Everyone's wounded. So I'm. I can use my channel divinity out of combat, right? Yeah, yeah. You can use it okay, so I'm just gonna use my bomb of peace and heal everyone that's around us. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait, wait for the list. <laughs> oh, okay. I call out to list, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can walk my movement speed to or towards y'all. So yeah. Everyone heals nine. Uh, heal nine? I do not show that I ever took damage. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think I did. You didn't get hit once? I was on Liverless the whole time and everyone was targeting him. That's true. I mean, he's a tree. Yeah, that's the obvious thing to hit. Man, okay. You're playing the true battlefield commander, like, oh, comes up. Oh, good job, man. Not a yeah. not a scratch on his shiny armor. <laughs> I mean, in Looking this whole it, campaign, all this I've probably <laughs> taken like maybe twenty points of damage. Yeah, Mando comes up and pats Greg on the back. We're all in this together, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Boots on the ground. Here we go. Again. Druid. This guy. Okay, everybody's healed. Well, I just had Lifterless and Druid and Number One. Uh, so I want to go take a look at this uh, this dude that transformed into the super pig. Yeah. So, yes, you uh, you see the necklace. It's it's an obvious. It, it it actually catches because the rain's been it's raining, <laughs> so it's everything's a little bit covered in water. The what? necklace catches <laughs> the the reflection of the moon, uh, and you see it. And uh, yeah, go ahead and take it out you want to roll for uh i don't know investigation or perception see what uh, you see. i will roll for investigation investigation nice so uh you see you hold in your hands uh and when you pick it up it seems to uh stretch a little bit like it gives a little kind of like elastic uh, but um it 
uh, seems to be some kind of special leather. And the there are three uh, three runes carved out of stone. Or sorry, there are three stone shapes uh, that have runes on them that are the I guess the uh, you if it was a necklace jewelry, it would, those would be the jewels. But it's more it's a very very crude. Uh, band with rocks on it. I mean, if we were going to use like the most base words, this is like a belt with rocks on it. So it's, uh, but it's it just something obviously 23 investigations and, you know, the fact that y'all just saw all that shit uh, in your hands uh, and your metal armor too. Like there's a, a, that little static shock when you first pick it up, just like that most things have. But then after, even after that, you, you feel it in your hands, it's just kind of. It's giving off a very low grade uh, energy. Static <laughs> Okay. So I don't have any. Oh wait, I have spells for this. I picked up. Oh no, I can't. I have to. I have to sleep to get identify. <laughs> I, I will sleep and get identify later. <laughs> I was about to say, you're going to sleep in the middle of the battlefield? I sleep and get identified, yeah. <laughs> oh, so I have it on, on my... I do have it on D&D Beyond. I just haven't updated it in all 20. Okay, well, I have identified. So I will begin to ritually cast that. It takes 10 minutes, 10 minutes to ritually cast it. But uh, we'll cast identify it as soon as so everyone else can be doing something while I'm sitting down with uh, the necklace and my ritually casting it is pulling out a uh, a leather thing kind of like Dexter with all of his implements oh uh, yeah <laughs> it's just unroll it out and there's like all these little you know magnifying glass and all these things to start poking and prodding at this necklace in the in the runes okay Good. Uh, so so are, we're all standing around the area. Are we yep. all like huddled, a halt huddled up? Okay. Well, I'm gonna um, do a prayer of healing as well while you're identifying. Is actually a 10 minute cast as well. <laughs> 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 but that way we make sure everyone is healed up because I'm casting it at second level. Okay, does everyone have to be grouped up for that, or...? Um, it's, uh... 30 feet. Okay. Nice. 13 healing. Uh, Greg's not gonna wait around for the two ritual casters to do that thing. (laughs) (laughs) The first healing gave him a little bit of confidence, like a liquid shot of courage, so he's gonna (laughs) amble in and just, uh, kinda make sure there's nothing else alive in this, uh, Half destroyed temple shrine thing that he was all on top of. Does he have to walk inside? (laughs) Man. Okay. So we'll come back to the 10 minute thing. Who else is doing stuff while the 10 minutes is happening? Um, um, Noel, are you hanging out there or? I, I could just wander around with the bear. Just one around there. One was pretty banged up, and Lifilis was as well, so they're going to hang out and okay. receive the healing. I also already put it there. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Noel and Greg, the druids, are going to investigate. We, uh, um, mm, I can go ahead and, uh, I'm going to move us to a different map, but it's it, everyone, everyone's there, but we're going to hop over. Everyone should be there. Okay. Actually, you may have to update. Once we hop over, you may have to update like uh, your HP and your little token. But other than that, it should be good. So in three, two. Maybe if you took damage. Yeah, Mando, I don't think you took damage. (laughs) I see all. Oh, wait. Now I see some stuff. Oh, here we go. We're up here. Okay. I have no idea where I am. Oh, no, there I am. Top left. Mm -hmm. Very top. Plus 13. 
We got new mayor one here. He was full Dynamic. health. Boynton. Or he will be. So I think you guys were like. <laughs> I think Cal, I'm going to move you over here. No. Yeah. And Greg, oh, let me get Big Bear, Greg. Yeah. Greg to one bear for him. Nurverim, there were. They're they're over here in the top left, but they were you know, they were actually they're at the opening of the forest. They're still like 120 yards away, so they're not actually right there. And it's funny but this is, yeah, we dealt with everything before you got the close up map out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, exactly. So this is this is the one that the the module actually comes with, but I was frustrated because it only gives you like 20 to 25 feet outside of the shrine, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, we're gonna need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Especially not enough for what I got in mind. <laughs> Mobile artillery. Uh, I have a. I got the monster manual on roll twenty, so I can actually pull up a real brown bear, Greg. But I like the one we found. Uh, with the waving, the waving. Uh, so we're good. Dun, dun, dun. Just need to fix his token to be to roll, not to GM. Yeah. <laughs> How can I do that? Would it be in the settings of it? Details. Yeah, settings of the token for the character sheet. That might be something on my end. Yeah, that's right. on. Because I that's roll. Because his... I just pull up another tab with the brown bear under the little settings thing and roll it and it throws it to there. I just pull it those settings. Let's just see. It's like a token. So what is Whatever. brown bear Greg's health at right now? Sitting at. Uh, in bear form, I'm sitting at 19. Oh, okay. What's what's bear forms max HP? This uh, thirty four. Oh, damn. But well, you didn't want to wait for the thirteen. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let me see. I think we're set up now. So Mando, Cal, yeah, Liffelos, and Number One, we're over there doing ten minute stuff, and then <laughs> Noel oh. and Greg are investigating. Everybody can see their tokens? Yep. Mm-hmm. Does Brown Bear have night vision or dark vision? Uh, it does not. It doesn't say it does. So I think so. It says display in VTT. What's that? Do? Virtual tabletop. It'll pop up in the chat, whatever that says. Okay. I'll give him 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't see any settings for me to change where it populates. You're good. I can... I mean, I just don't... I don't see any option on your stuff. If I open character sheet, that's like... Nothing... Only visible to GM? GM? No, that's GM notes. Never mind. Yeah, See how what's going on. I literally just pull up a secondary tab for a brown bear off of D and D Beyond, and that's what I've been using. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it should be. Okay, cool. So, no, Greg, let us investigate. Dun, dun, dun. So you guys, uh, uh, but Go through Greg's the, yeah, main go. concern. Greg's main concern upon entering the shrine will be smelling for anything living. What's a or, smell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll for perception or <laughs> sniff. <laughs> I get advantage on perception checks. That's a huge. I mean, battlefield null has a huge advantage, for, especially if it's like a, a days long battlefield. Everyone's like yeah. throwing up from the smell of blood and everything, guts. And I was like, "What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong?" Right. <laughs> Nineteen. 
So 19, uh, you smell a mixture of things. Uh, now that the rain is starting to wash, it's stirring up <laughs> things. The wind was, I mean, it's been quite a display. You fight past the, okay. like, you know, the first few seconds, it's only burnt bare. But uh, once you get past that, you're starting to pick up some different uh, things. You're getting kind of, you know, Anywhere pigs live, you get the pig slop smell. Uh, we're getting near pig farms. You, you're starting to get that smell. Okay. Uh, and also death, just like okay. the very familiar, not maybe not familiar, but like very obvious, you know, decay, uh, death smell. Okay. Near, very close. Cool. And I don't know what you guys can actually see, but... Uh, which way are you heading? Oh, I can see the whole map, but... <laughs> you and your plus one map. <laughs> Do you want to continue forward here, or...? Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and just... Uh, I would imagine we're just going to go ahead and walk inside. Well, you all can't okay. communicate, can you? So before you... Yeah, okay, perfect. I put everybody on uh, GM layer. It's, it's Aaron proof. I'm going to scoot you back, right? Okay. Uh, right before, as you guys are approaching, well before you see it, and this is not like a jump scare or anything. There's no, there's no uh, surprise, surprise. You see, surprise. as you approach, uh, familiar <laughs> faces uh, like you just uh, faced outside, but uh, a pile of bodies, not a pile, it, it, just several corpses of goblins and orcs that are all. They all have arms. Uh, I mean, like weapons. Weapons, <laughs> they're all armed. <laughs> and uh, it seems like they were, they have, tr they have, um, they were trying to board up the door. Uh, it's not boarded up, but it, it seems like they were trying to maybe keep something in. Interesting. Um, hmm. Shall we continue? <laughs> um, uh, the bear pauses. Uh, years of living in the wild has taught him caution when messing with thing. I believe the phrase his master taught him was fucketh around and findeth out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at least trying to keep something in. Uh, hmm. Would you like to find out what the thing is? I think so, actually. <laughs> Curiosity was also, unfortunately, very there. So we're going to go ahead and walk up to it and, I guess, a peek through the... Is the door closed? Is it a door that's trying to be boarded up? Yeah, I'll say if uh, you spend a couple of... Not even a minute, because you're a bear. but So just a few actions. Uh, scooting the goblin corpses out of the way. Uh, you're able to get to the door. The door is not, you can, like, uh, I'm imagining one of those, you know, the, what's the big board call that keeps every, the big lock? Uh, okay. That was there, but it's it didn't, it's, it would typically be on the inside of the, of the building. It's a barricade, so it's like, I think is what it's called. Barricade, yeah. what, the what, barricade? I think. Yeah. What? So, anyway, so, it seems like they were trying to make, make do a makeshift one on the outside. Hey, Obviously, they didn't okay. finish. Uh, it, it didn't even get one hinge on one side done, so it was just, you know, it's it's a it's a failed that in front of you. Um, the doors don't appear to be anything special. They're, it's everything's very old. They, these are ruins. So, uh, if there was any kind of artwork or anything like that, uh, just standard weather and time have worn those things away. Okay. Does it look like the doors push inward or would they open outward? Uh, outward. Okay. Uh, Greg looks at a paw, looks at the door, looks at a paw again, and it looks at Noel. Noel just gestures. <laughs> 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 After you, By all means. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna knock the doors down. So, it doesn't take much effort, and it's funny. I've recently seen like 
video of bears coming into 7-Elevens and just taking donuts and they leave for whatever. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bear. Uh, with your big bear claws, you uh, open the door easily, actually, because when you start to pull it, uh, you you slide past the drop bar. There we go. <laughs> Josh, thank you. The uh, You slide past, or slide, you, sorry, as you open the door, it slides, the door slides, the, the dead ogres, I'm sorry, orcs corpse uh to the side and as you're trying to you know kind of struggle to scoot him uh you feel or you see (laughs) a large hand uh kind of spill out of the door as you're opening it and it just kind of un un unfolds and uh so now you have like a half open door and then this giant hand uh that also appears dead it may have scared you uh, uh, when it, you know, when it, it okay. initially fell out of the door, but immediately, I mean, it did not move as soon as it, it's a big thud. Like, like literally a giant's sized hand. Not a giant, like more like a an, an <laughs> ogre sized. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hand. Oh, we don't, we don't have another undead hand on our hands. <laughs> no, not like that. No. Okay. Hmm. Shall we <laughs> right. Pull the body out of the doorway. Yep. Slide yeah. <laughs> Put it in the other pile of the bodies. This. So, here, Tesla. So, are we like halfway through the ritual casting of. I would say, there? yeah, because it probably took a couple minutes to. <laughs> like, Greg's not walking fast, so I'm saying, I mean, realistically, we probably, honestly, probably say at this point, probably been 10 minutes, I would think. Right, I come back for that heel. Back. Just more we, uh, look around. The shadow or the, the the darkness that comes off of this stuff is funny over here. <laughs> oh, I don't see darkness, so. I just don't see the creatures until you pop them up. Cal is the light. <laughs> <laughs> I see a weird mix. I see Noel's point of view, but also yeah. if I move Greg, I can see him. It's weird. It's like I can see everybody's at once. Like I, I see the map, and I can see the players, and then I can see the creatures that you are moving now. Yeah, but I don't see anything else down lower. That yeah, I have everybody's hidden on the GM layer. So here's what Grike does: Grike moves the body out of the doorway, and then turns around and beats down the barricade behind him, <laughs> so there's a straight shot. <laughs> <laughs> it just walks back out. To- <laughs> His buddies. Sorry, did you uh, drag him out or? Yeah, I would imagine okay. you drag him out, put him in the pile, nice. and then just like go back that way. <laughs> Bad guy pile over here. Yeah, and then just walk back through, making sure that they can go through that way. Nice. Then, of course, I hear this noise, so I'm like looking. I'm like, oh, there's the bear. <laughs> <laughs> This bear comes through. Bear. <laughs> Are you a good bear? <laughs> no. Not okay. Really. So, <laughs> so I mean, uh, the bear's got like dried up blood in its fur and stuff. It just got off the battlefield. It's still it's a charred, a- wily coyote bear. <laughs> yeah, it's, a- it's got a patch missing somewhere of hair. <laughs> no hair at all on its face. None. Oh God, <laughs> it took the first lightning bolt to the face. <laughs> just a bear, just bloodied face, no hair at all, and then poofed out. Uh, so it's good luck. Good luck on you. The <laughs> ten minutes. The after uh, what is it? Uh, Cal's bomb of peace, or no? That was a different thing. Uh, Prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. And Mando's. Identify. identify identify spell so i want to know exactly what this necklace is and does so what can identify uh let you know what, identify what able... will tell me the following it will identify things for him <laughs> well, i can send this to yeah oh dang it that's nope, that's that's jump it says right here all the things that's not what it does <laughs> all there. the things there <laughs> that Spell of his magic item, yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, perfect. 
Well, that saves a lot of trouble. <laughs> All the things. All okay, the, well... Yeah. Okay, cool. so... Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah. Uh, it just comes to you, you know? Uh, how does... how does So, let's say you... Uh, you're using your instruments. What kind of readout would it give? Like how, when it does tell you, what does it look like? Um, so as I'm doing, as I'm doing my instruments, like I'll do like, I'll trace the rune, like one of the runes with one of my tools. And then like, as that's happening, almost kind of like Iron Man's hollow stuff. Like it starts to like <laughs> come up. Like with my with my ability to use uh, my uh, artificer stuff to create holograms, I'm doing this and I'm placing stones, do, like fiddling with it, and it's like things are coming up and they're being reconfigured, okay. and eventually they're piecing together to show me what's happening. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, so when it does that, uh, I'll just copy and paste the text. <laughs> <laughs> A readout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a readout uh, comes out, and well, the the layers that you're talking about. So I will say that um, what I'm about to send, this is like layer one of something that you can tell. There's like it's tiered, and this is only part of it. Like you can you can it scales. You can tell that it scales. So, boom. There is the thunder collar. Excuse this me? is a made-up right. thing just for us. Uh, so, I kind of want to take out the wild, wild shaped because I also think a user should be able to do it just as that, like if, uh, what's it called? Savage attacker uh, feature or whatever, where you can like go nuts and just attack somebody. I think it should be still apply then. But, so basically while uh, it's, it's obviously a druid uh, focused type uh, magic item, uh, the wearer is a, uh, can speak while transformed into wild shape, and uh, every the appearance of whatever it transforms into, it would be just as it normally would have, except it would just be have a, like a an extra electrifying appearance. So a little bit, a little sparks in the eyes and the a teeth. Super Saiyan two. Exactly. Everybody, oh. <laughs> the little sparks going off every now and then. So you, you, you say Super Saiyan 2. Perfect. Because consider this Super Saiyan 1. <laughs> so basically, okay. this thing's going to scale. Here's it, here's what it does for until level 6. So I take the collar and I... Everyone's back at this point now, right? Or is it, or is it still just me and Cal here? I think they came back to tell you all about the... We found dead bodies. And there Doors, was a yeah. <laughs> yeah. We found them dead up bodies. good. <laughs> they were trying to keep something in. Uh, something so in, not out. <laughs> I, I take the, the necklace and I look to Greik and uh, Null and say, uh, this is a shot collar for training. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just gives you this color. weird, like he just tilts his head and as best as he can gives you this. What are you talking about? Uh, Shot collar. And I, you see a pole raise, like <laughs> not again. The bear, uh, but it, but it shocks your enemies, not oh. not you. Oh, so no. you can you can beat your your enemies into submission. It seems to be, I, I, I go through what it does. It seems to be a little more focused towards biting and clawing. So uh, while I look to Noel and say, I think I feel like you could use this, but I'll leave it up to between the two of you as to who wants it. And then I kind of throw it, throw it at the, on the ground in between the two of you. No, just Number just one's like, hands, <laughs> <laughs> Claws? What? <laughs> can Brown Bear Greg understand? Yeah. Yeah, he can. He just can't speak. Yeah, oh, and I say. Can. Oh, and also, I maintain <laughs> all my. I maintain all my wisdom and stuff. I just. Uh, I can't speak. 
I say, wow. oh, it also lets you speak <laughs> while you're in your. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> One of you is talkative in your wild shape form. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Noel, if you want it, you if you if Noel wants it for the the damage above, I understand, and I'll let you have it. If not, then yeah, Greg will take it. I'll let Noel have the first dibs at it. For the damage, Greg already does enough damage. Huh? So Greg already does enough damage. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And my next level, I'm gonna get the res resistances anyway. So realistically, all it's gonna give me is the speaking animal shape, which is nice. But... So yeah, I might, I might as well pick it up. Okay. This is oh, snap it on. So all like, of, does that two. mean because he's made of metal and it's lightning damage? Anything that he in any way that he hits, does he do the lightning damage? So I just like go up and poke him in the face. <laughs> or does he specifically have to bite something or like use his claws <laughs> can I just I guess... get Wolverine claws then like <laughs> he's got his scimitar too like he could like yeah yeah. Uh, since you did remove the wild shape requirement um... yeah yeah that's because I don't like the because I do think it should be just while you're wearing it so I, I should have edited that before I pasted it but yeah um while wearing this melee creature. attacks do a d4 is this an item you'll add oh he just yeah. froze up for me oh yeah yeah he just froze oh there he is uh yeah you, you add it to your inventory is it already added or is this a custom item i'm gonna put probably it oh yeah this is custom copy and paste already? And then just uh, dis again? disregard the. Well, I like shock collar better. <laughs> it was supposed to be thunder collar, but shock collar is obviously better. Um, <laughs> and the disregard the wild, wild shape. So just while so wearing this, a calling. creature can do the things. And then, and again, this is like tier one of this thing. It scales with the user. So the additional things will come. Is it attunement? Does it require attunement? Uh, it immediately attunes to the user. Uh, when it, you say wild shape, oh, well, no. wild, wild shape. Okay. No, we're, well, said so that re that requirement has been removed. So it's okay, just, let me. I'll just yeah. It's just adds a D4 lightning damage to. Uh, it seems like melee attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A creature that wearing. It's, here, I got a new. It's a reverse shock collar. You shock others. <laughs> exactly. Also, I'm pretty sure it's lightning damage, and there's. I don't think there's thunder damage. I think there's force damage. Like thunder, there's thunder damage. There's thunder damage. Is there? Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. thunder wave. It's thunder damage. Yeah. I thought it did force. No. Thunder. Ah. So, what does this item look like? Uh, so it's a very crude leather strap that is kind of bungee, like this, uh, it gives very elast uh, elastic, and then with three stones on it that are uh, that have runes on them, and the the shape of the stones are roughly like lightning bolts, but not exaggerated like the flash or anything. Just kind of you know. Uh, more like if you're out walking and you like happen to find one that looks kind of like one, you're like, oh, cool, I'll pick this up. Kind of <laughs> like that. <laughs> they weren't carved to look like that. Interesting. So, not how I, so uh, now we have Null the Thunder Spider or Lightning Spider <laughs> <laughs> instead of Greg the Thunder Bear. Do, do my webs, get, do I get to do like shocking web Ooh. things? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need to, yeah, because that's fucking dope. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Like if I get, like if I end up wearing it, use using my my cable as my thorn whip, like electric cable. <laughs> uh, no, so kind of we'll treat it like uh, the web itself. If you want it to be like flammable. 
the your electricity could set it off or also if you wanted to use it like uh, what's the lightning whip uh mm-hmm. cantrip if you have that effect or have it do that mm-hmm. uh what is that 1d 1d8 but it, it could be like everybody though like everybody in the yeah that's the contained within the web gets yeah. whatever like <laughs> shock yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So fuck yeah, and that's just it. This so, yeah. We'll we'll let's wait until it's that happens, and then we'll play it by you. Know, we'll, play but it we'll figure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you can speak in wild shape. That's all. That's that's the main that's plus. A plus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any languages that you know in your normal form, you you can speak it in your. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Just form. imagine this. Electrifying metal spider walk on my hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a borderland for me. <laughs> and if we are, if you guys are, are we like checking bodies and looting and stuff? And we, yeah, before we, we go in there, or Greg and Null, are you going to try to get the guys to? At this point, I would say Greg could drop spare for him. Okay. He's he's like nothing bursts out of the thing. The one close place. I was like, okay, I'm not too too. No, and also like passively, you don't. I mean, you don't sense any any danger. It, it, things have calmed down now. Uh, yeah. He sniffed around. He's like, okay, I'm I'm, I'm okay. I I speak to Lipperless and um, sorry, I forget the other druid's name. Number one. Number one. Uh, at offering to help gather their dead and uh, put them in, you know, stack them up in, in, their, in a row or something like that for later <laughs> transport. Yeah, Gr- Greg would definitely help with the Druid's funeral preparations. Yeah, I, I'd help out. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's it's uh, fitting we're in a holy place. I, I don't know if they were big Savros fans, but I don't think so. But it's still, uh, I think we've... Uh, Wiped out the evil, the wicked here. Uh, I, I'd be comfortable uh, setting up the pyres here. And he'll just kind of, uh, he and Lifferless give each other a look and they'll kind of uh, start gathering broken lumber and, and things from the ruins and, and things and setting up pyres. That's hardcore, Lifferless. <laughs> I respect it though. <laughs> Put them over here. Right. Okay, these are pyres. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna do that. Uh, they got their. I won't mess with the. I'm not gonna go copy corpses and paste them. So, <laughs> but uh, number one, uh, thanks you before he. So they they get their guys over here and we'll say uh are we looking at other bodies as well number one first of all he comes back oh. with some items he's like these um here we go i gotta do more editing 16 rations okay he walks over with some uh of their personal items kind of uh, wrapped up and uh neatly uh and he's like wait you know as he kind of not directly speaking to greg and Noel, but kind of like a, a sub bro druid kind of way it's like as you know we don't waste <laughs> much out here uh so we try to put everything to good use they wouldn't want this these lads wouldn't want these to go to waste uh, i'm sure you guys can help uh this will help you more than them and he'll hand you I'm going to paste it in the thing here. Uh, the effects of the druid. So that is two direwolf hides. And you can see there it can be crafted to leather armor. It takes two days, costs 10 GP or whatever. And then uh, also direwolf two? teeth. That uh, can be used as a tip of an arrow or crossbow bolt. Ooh. Dealing an additional 1d4 damage on a hit. Uh, who does this get handed to? Uh, no, is closest. Okay. 
Okay. So and I'm helping them off. set up the uh, the pyre because I'm gonna uh, <coughs> pray for the deceased. Oh, nice. And, and then also the uh, 18 rations as well. Yeah. They had a lot of rations. Two people, uh, three people had 18 rations. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> It's supposed to be 2d6 per druid, and then they, they just rolled really high. Um, and then, man, I have a lot of... If you guys are looting everybody, uh, I have a lot of stuff to give. Uh, I think we are. Oh, yeah, I'd imagine so. We're going to go ahead and burn the... Uh, yeah, funeral rage for our, our people. Pile of other bodies after they're looted burn pile for everybody else yes because uh, we've seen too many things uh get things controls so <laughs> not leaving nothing well we set up the uh our bodies can i use my uh my sacred flame cantrip to just uh peacefully send off the uh the dead druids nice yes like i love Viking it funeral kind of thing yeah yeah okay so as the the fire gets going uh Cal, uh, kind of, I guess you were standing in between the two pyres, um, focuses yeah. his divine energy and, uh, yeah, says a prayer and kind of in a, <laughs> uh, infinity war way, they just kind of uh, start to glow the bodies and then, uh, particulate into these little sparkles and just everything, uh, lifts up into the air and with the, the smoke of the fires from the pyres as it rises, these, these, the little uh, remnants of the the fallen druids ascend uh, to the next to the next chapter, yep. and after and then we can just use a torch to, loot, to burn the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are there are there any it's effects on, the pile. <laughs> on their commander that I can take as a as a trophy or a token that I have or that we have slain? some of their uh acolytes what are they called acolytes yeah anchorites 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 it was close uh yes i just pasted a bunch of crap in the thing so the anchorites are where they go why did this paste that way this is Sorry, this came out really weird. Yeah, it went all at once. Okay, let me try this again. I'm going to do it just one at a time. So yes, to answer your question, yes, the Anchorites of Telos had these things on there. They have kind of a combination of what orcs have and what uh, boars have. And then there were two actual boar corpses that you guys took care of. Damn it, I did it again. I may have to do this. In, would this be better in Discord? I think it would. Okay. That way we can oh. consolidate. Yeah. Well, and then if we don't add it to our inventory now, at least we have... Maybe put it in the uh, the session recap. Yeah, maybe we should create yeah. like a loot... Loot, loot recap. Channel. <laughs> loot loot channel. channel. Yeah, loot kind of thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, put the, put yeah. the date and then what loot was doled out. Next channel. Loot! Das Loot. Das Loot. Loot Goblins. So we have 17 giant toes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 17 <laughs> giant toes. Yeah. Okay, I just paid, I just made a new... Can you all see that? Das Loot? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ingrates cool. of Talos, blah, blah, blah. All right, so yeah, the anchorites, they're gonna have those, uh, the boar tusks that were, they were using as the wolverine claws. They got those that can be, uh, and then this gives you what it could be converted into, weapon-wise, and what that would cost. And everybody kind of, <laughs> some monsters drop rations, some turn into rations. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, none of us are lizard folks, so not everything's a ration. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Blizzard folk be looking at that necklace like, sure. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard folk be looking at Mr. Business's lifeless course. Hmm. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Does anyone have the mending spell? Yes. Because we can... All these broken armors and shields and, and short shields bows and, can yeah. be mended. Mending is uh, a cantrip on me. Yep. You could I put it, it on there because I'm metal, so it's like, can I just mend my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I have mending. Yeah, I've got okay. two cantrips. Neither of them are that. I made sure of it because it's like I'm a warforged. I could just fix myself, right? <laughs> that should be a race feature, mending. Right, you would think. Well, yeah. at one point they they split out warforged into a couple of cool subclasses, and then they were like, "Nah, fuck it." <laughs> yeah, warforged. <laughs> yeah, because it used to be like not a titan, but like this Goliath-looking like specific warforged that was made for this kind of battling that we just came out of. Like, it was built for that kind of thing. Yeah. And then they're like, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, no, it makes perfect sense. What are you talking about? <laughs> so of the, from the boars, like one of the, one of the druids gave a boar tusk. Oh, wait, no, the teeth, the direwolf teeth. Okay, never mind. I thought it was boar tusk that was the, that could make the special ammunition. No, that was the that was the dire that was the dire wolf teeth that okay. was handed to Null. The package that package was handed to Null. Does anyone um, have like a crossbow? Uh, um. Um. Grike, Grike looks like. No, I've got my stick. <laughs> stick. <laughs> stick. <laughs> I I'm probably gonna try and make. I'm gonna. I probably will take. Once some of these broken short bows get mended i might try and take that and with a with some of the like maybe a goblin hucker components break that I down can, and try and make a shot make a a heavy crossbow that i can yeah. oh. so we camp can, here for seven days and make dull fix stuff non-stop <laughs> i <laughs> yeah, do have a crossbow just, oh you do i would i thought about putting like a little like having one but i'm not using can, it i'm using my spiritual weapon yeah, one of the is things it a, that is we, it a heavy crossbow or is it? Just oh like, no, it's it's just a light crossbow. I'm gonna get it. I'm yeah. gonna make a heavy one. No, what are you I saying? I thought about so two different thoughts. Like I thought about putting a crossbow for for Null. So Warforged as they have the same kind of weapons, but you can get them like ingrained in the body itself. And so mm. one of those was a short bow kind of thing that would like pop out, mm. sort of thing. And then there's I came across a, a D and D video about type of bow that scales up with dexterity or like it's used like dexterity and strength as its whole thing and my main character my tabaxi has gauntlets of strength and it and it's got a he's got a 19 just right out of the gate of strength and the bow requires an 18 <laughs> just to be used <laughs> yeah Greg's strength sitting at a 19 right now <laughs> yeah my strength is 12 <laughs> <laughs> I've got two 19s and the rest are crap. <laughs> my strength's no. uh, 14. Actually, my I don't have proficiency in heavy crossbows. All I have is firearms and simple weapons. Oops. I mean, I would pause it. You could flavor it as like a... I would I'm say already flavoring arm. my fi my cantrip as a firearm. I mean, that'd be kind so, of cool. Uh, Armor piercing round. <laughs> the dire wolf round. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to think of how I can how I can uh, mando a crossbow into my arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we find all that stuff. I'm sure that takes us pretty I well. I think that would night. take most of the night. Yeah. Yeah. So that, probably... that, yeah. It's uh, yeah. we just like kind of pile it up in the wagon. Approaching, yeah, they see the morning mist now. the The rain has subsided. The clouds, uh, it's still a little gray, uh, but it's no longer raining, and the morning light is starting to glow. As uh, still kind of in that that twilight moment right now. Okay. 
Uh, during this time, I will at some point approach Lifferless and say, before the battle, you mentioned that there, that you knew of some cache of item from your friend. Banjo Ted. Banjo Ted, that's right. <laughs> is is now the appropriate time to discuss its location? Um, sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, my friend Banjo. Uh, I've actually. This is coincidental. I was going to go visit his grave again. I go every ten years or so. Uh, but yes, and um, do you have a map? Like the, how? Would yeah. You... Once the rain is gone, I will pull out the map and. So Lifilis, uh crouches down very far, and uh, <laughs> I guess he'll he'll like with his his branch fingers. Uh, he tries to grab the map, but his fingers are too big. So the fingers branch off and create little hands. And then, the, okay, those are about the right size. So <laughs> he's he's now handling this this paper with like fingers on fingers. And he's like, yeah, he studies it, leans in real real quick, like an old person because he's very old. And uh, oh yes, okay. And he kind of recreates a rough sketch of your map, and just you're you're able to tell. But, um, I mean, do you want me to, like, actually show you on the, drag you over to the map or just kind of tell you, like? Uh, you can tell me. But he, so he indicates an area, um, uh, called the Dragon Barrow as the resting place of his friend, Benjo Tit. And... Dragon Barrow. Yeah, <clears throat> where's the Dragon Barrow? You guys are trying to solve us right now. So this is directly due west. Uh, you would know that the Tribor Trail does go west, but it's kind of s south, southwest, as on its way to the high road. So as you're looking at this, you can see that if you were to stay on the road, you would be going. I guess back up to Connieberry and then all the way down Tribor Trail to the high road and then north on the high road for a few days. And then Dragon Barrow would be sort of maybe a day's, uh, no, not a day's mile, but maybe like a few hours travel off of the high road. So total uh, about two days if you were you're traveling with Lifilis so he indicates and you can see that the Neverwinter Wood kind of blocks your way if you were trying to go as the crow flies but he says there's there wouldn't be it wouldn't take you longer since you're with Lifilis so uh, two days straight shot probably three days by road okay Do we have more stuff to look around here? I'm asking the group. Did anyone go into the shrine? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, a big ogre fell out of it. They were uh, they were trying to keep something in there. But there was a bunch of dead bodies on the outside uh, propping up boards to keep something in. Do we want to, like, take a rest? And have someone keep watch on the door to make sure nothing as comes a out. Warf, as a warforged, I can do that. I just can't move, technically. Because uh, I'm in... Century it's like a mode. sentinel mode kind of thing, basically. Yeah. I'm I'm mighty tired. So, Crack's pretty tired. <laughs> do I'm want real tired, Paul. <laughs> inside here. <laughs> inside the walls. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we can make, make camp in that little alcove there. Smells like shit around here, though. Yeah, it's real <laughs> bad. It's going to be bad. Well, today, Grike learned 
that eighty percent of orcs shit themselves when they die. A hundred percent of goblins and half of ogres. Interesting <laughs> statistics. <laughs> All right. Gonna make camp in here. So yes. Uh Everyone piles in there. Number one, uh, thanks Greg for transforming out of bear form before we do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Noel, you're standing at the, on the outside, take, keeping watch. Um, let's see, where where am I currently? Um, I feel like Lithorus has got the outside covered. I feel like we would have Null stationed on the other door that yeah, they were trying here. to bar. This door? Yeah, probably close yeah. to that one. I'm looking through the bars. <laughs> Take a quick snooze. Right. Just, a, just a quick long rest. That's all. That's all, that's all we quick need. Quick long rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, yes. So okay. we going out for a long rest. Um, it was morning now, so it, you guys are just now going down for the morning rest. Good. And yeah, uh, Noel, you're keeping watch. <clears throat> Sanctuary mode activated. You, Is a short rest enough for most people, or do we want to do a full long? Well, let's see when I get back. I mean, I'm pretty close to full. Uh, I get. I don't think Druids get spell slots back. We don't. No, but they get uh, wild shapes back. Yeah. And I get wild shapes back. Hung. Or no. I get my wild shapes back. Oh, I don't get my rage back, but I've. Well, I've got. only used one of those. So, I mean. Yeah, I could, I could make do with a short rest if that's what we want to do instead. I can do a short rest. Okay, so we, we're just going to do a short rest. All right, let me... A little, little power nap. You get to determine how many hit die you roll. That's the fun part. Hmm. Well, I, I clicked the long rest button, so I'm trying to figure something out. Figure this out real quick. Uh, you're fine. You don't have to undo it. Oh, well, I guess... If you can remember what you use spell wise. Well, the only spell that I can't use right now it would be my uh, my Fey Touch Bless, but I already have Bless for a normal spell as well. And then my normal spell slots. Do you get spell slots? I don't think so. Not, not for a cleric. No. Not for a cleric, so I, yeah, I would have to take a long rest in order to get my spell slots yeah. back. I think yeah, it's just but... warlock and sorcerer. No, no, just not warlock. even sorcerer. Uh, it's just warlock. Wizards can can wizards. arcane recovery a little bit, but that's about it. Pretty much, it's warlocks. Warlocks over there surviving off a of short rest. I think land druids also get some yes. back on short rest. Yes, they do. Nice. All right, everybody okay. short rested. Yeah, taking well, a little bit of a calculated risk, I suppose, but we still have our our bubble of shield that we can. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I don't know, I'm just saying, like, we short rest, and I'm not gonna. I'm missing spells slots. Then. That's okay. Okay. So yeah, yeah an hour goes by, and. Uh, if there were roosters, they would be crowing, but there's nothing going on here. This has been uh, kind of a sad place for a little bit. But uh, yeah, an hour goes by, nothing of note. And you guys complete a short rest. Cool. Let's check out this door. Is everybody filing out? Yep. And then see Noel and Greik were there. So whenever Noel and Greik exit, uh, you both notice that the door is closed now. Hmm. Uh, Greik turns to the group and says, I specifically left that door open. 
Oh. No, um, do you see anything while staring at it for the hour we were resting? <laughs> what do I roll to find that out? <laughs> you did not. You did not notice. <laughs> just straight up, <laughs> nope. <laughs> no chance roll, just no. <laughs> it may have happened when we were all talking and doing our looting. Uh, right turns the, back to the group and says, for sure, with unbridled confidence and assurance in his tone, Let's burn it to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's stone. How are we going to burn it? Slowly. <laughs> Take our time. We have patience. <laughs> uh, should we just... If something closed the door, should we just knock? Should I knock? <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> Crap. Okay, I walk up and I knock on the door. <laughs> how do how does it how do you knock? Like I'm at someone's house. Like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The does it, does it have a ring that I can tap on the door? <laughs> door knocker. <laughs> yes, door knocker. Yeah, there is a door knocker. <laughs> I I Door knock the door knocker. The door knock, it bites your finger. I'm, I'm playing. It's a no. mimic. <laughs> yeah, it's a mimic. The shrine's a mimic. Okay. Uh, no. The whole shrine? The, the whole shrine. Yeah, roll for initiative. No. <laughs> that would be no. cool. Uh, no, so sure. yes, you, you knock the door and uh, you hear uh, the first thud uh, it kind of. Um, Sounds like it hasn't been uh, used in a while because the 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 you can tell the other side of this door the casing the the actual the the other side of the bolt or whatever uh, kind of pops off so that by the time you come down with the second uh, thud knock or whatever uh, you hit it and then it actually falls out at your feet uh, when that happens and as it the the second knock resonates in the the cavernous uh, the space within the door both of them actually just kind of in an automated way release and then open up at the same time uh, synchronized alright who's going well that's not creepy Uh, Nuvereen (laughs) (laughs) is that you (laughs) mom (laughs) yeah so Nuvereen and uh, Kaivin they were still dressing their wounds back in the forest Uh, we can assume that while you guys were actually doing the same thing and you took your short rest, they uh, agreed it was, <laughs> well, that, we'll say they're still over there, but not in your immediate vicinity. Well, that was just a joke because she's always always seems to pop up in <laughs> at odd times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it opens and... I don't think I have a lantern like to like a bullseye lantern or anything to like shine a light in. It's okay. I can get you guys. Um, if everyone peeks in, there's no immediate uh, threat that you can spot everyone. I, I, I can go ahead and scoot everyone just inside the door. If there's a candle or a torch or somewhere, I can I'm use your I got a torch. I'm going to torch. Yeah. Your craft, turn it on. Yeah. Nice. Dynamic lighting, emit light, so I can make. There's, yeah, there's one in here for uh, you can either light or snuff out a candle or a torch or some campfire thing or something. I mean, equally, I could just pull out flame blade and just use. To- <laughs> I don't want to waste the spell. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, well, it should I work have, now. I think I have my cantrip, sacred flame, as well. Just light the wall on fire or something. Hey, you guys spam sacred flame and firebolt and produce flame. <laughs> Burn the place down. <laughs> As okay. you, <clears throat> you're in now, and uh, story wise, though, you were getting kind of filing in and feeling it out. Just, just very empty. Uh, and as you cross the threshold, you feel the temperature drop like several degrees. 
What's temperature? And, <laughs> <laughs> and as you uh, go, the more you you walk forward, the your breath. Uh, well, not not, not null, but uh, <laughs> people, who not <laughs> people who breathe. People who breathe. You notice it a little bit uh, stressed. Not stressed. It's it's a little bit um, labored. There we go. A little bit labored. The more you walk in, as the as you start to see your breath, it gets so cold. Okay, I, I make sure that my uh, my defensive uh, my force protector is is on my back, and I I I do a, a fresh redeployment of the of the shield. Everyone gets nine temp HP. Nice, nice. Oop, Amber Alert it says, "Beware, there's danger," and it with a little alarm. <laughs> Beware, there's danger. Okay, uh, and I yeah. I press forward. As you guys is about right there, Mando. As your as the group heads in, you hear um, a voice. Coming from this this direction over here the, to to the what is this west? West, west. From this room over here, there are as you enter. Oh, I start, I'm sorry. I I'm not seeing which room you're pointing at. My bad. I was um, doing the tappy tap here over here. Ah, got it. Yeah, I see. So from that direction, man. So if it's on GM letter and I do the tabby tap, it does not show you guys. So as you enter and you start to feel your your bones as you're cracking, uh, not that's not that's not the right word. Uh, it gets a little chilly. Uh, <laughs> six stone pillars brace the vaulted ceiling of this temple, the floor of which is buried under a thick layer of dust and also ogre blood and goo. Uh, also covered in dust are four humanoid skeletons um, closer to the doors at the end of this um, hall or area room. In uh, and there, the skeletons are in tattered priestly vestments, uh, lying near a stone altar. Oops. Can I do a quick, I like religion check or something? To what, what would I know of Savras? Like the temple of, like, yes, uh, Sovereign yeah, is the god the of like foresight, of um, divination, uh, I think neutral good, um, uh, yeah, so used to be good guy, good guy, okay. I still so along the walls, is there any depictions, tapestries? Yes, um, so you'll see several. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Carved in the supporting structures of uh, this building are runes and also several um, kind of hieroglyphs. Picto, picto, pic, what is it? How do you say it? Pictograph, pictographs. Pictographs of eyes, just humanoid eyes. Uh, in different uh, patterns, different they'll pop up. There's sometimes there's one big one, sometimes there's several arranged in a pattern. Uh, but th th that is definitely the theme of the carvings. And then there's a, also a mosaic <clears throat> that, when you read it, it seems to tell the story of something. It was of um, there's a group of people being pursued, and uh, they in the next scene they are entering what looks to be the shrine you guys are in right now it's the same kind of floor plan and then in, in the next scene it's them it seems to be like they're holding up uh their belongings their their gold and in, and they're bringing it all together and while still being pursued by these uh the bad guys and in the next scene um you see uh the a golden disc that is in the air and the villagers seem to have raised they seem to be praising it or at least you know exalting or, or like just uh what anyway pointing at it 
Yeah, I see what? <laughs> Is this a UFO? What's going on? <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah. An old, exactly. So, like, uh, the the caveman drawings of them just, like, looking up at the sky. So, yeah, kind of the golden disc is there. And um, and then in the next scene, it seems unfinished. It seems like there it was the shrine again. Uh, but this time, the the bad guys were all around the shrine and inside all it all you uh, shows was the golden disc but then you can tell it was there's blood smeared on the rest and uh the it, the story wasn't finished so like the golden disc similar to the one that that was did did we observe something similar at the beginning of the fight before the portal combat thing happened uh make a history check maybe let's see oh the- i, I- <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember this. <laughs> I is good at history. Dude, that's the same fucking. <laughs> no, so yes, very similar. Uh, you'll notice that you'll just uh, the proportions of that thing to the humanoids in these in these drawings. Uh, <clears throat> also, the fact that it had. Um... No, never mind. That's it. Yes, uh, it looks the same. Looks looks could be similar. Very similar. Did that disc disappear with the storm sorcerer or storm wizard or whatever? The last thing you guys saw was uh, she, in a last move, I think, uh, ricocheted some lightning off of the disc, the spinning disc, as and it fanned across um, in a eerie web of, of the battlefield, and as she pieced out. Uh, when the magic left her, the spinning disc just stopped spinning at one point and then fell uh, crashing through the uh, ceiling of the shrine, which you guys are in right now. And I will point, if you guys can see where I'm clicking here, yep. this area here, I'm going to, lo and behold, uh, you guys see a disc. A giant gong on the floor. We're about to be abducted. Uh, so no I look at the disc and recount as much as we've just said uh, of my suspicions of that disc and its use in the fight we were just in and these tapestries all around us and that it probably has some sort of magic amplification powers. As you're talking to the guys, uh, you hear behind you, actually. So, but where the the entrance to the shrine, uh, you hear a crowd, like several voices, all. And of course, it's a mix. Uh, out of and this is out of nowhere. It it went from absolute silence, you guys just kind of t- um, talking amongst yourselves, to roar, roar, crowd, um, men, uh, women, children. It's it's a mix, uh, and and. Uh, as you're describing to the guys what you what your uh, assumptions are about this, your findings, everyone witnesses a crowd of like ethereal, spiritual uh, phantoms. Uh, a crowd uh, bursts through what are the doors are already open, but these are like new doors were like uh, ghost doors. They burst through these ghost doors. Uh, everyone, quick to the shrine, to the altar. Uh, you hear one voice stick out among all of them. The guy who like bursts open the door. He's he's the one gathering everyone. He's got a torch in his hand. Uh, these ghosts are going right through you, uh, Mando, Cal. Uh, the the they're not they don't know they they have no awareness that you're in the same room as them. This is like it's it's like a whole scene playing out. Uh, the 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 bodies rush past everyone, uh, at heading toward the the room at the end of the hallway. And as the, and by the, in total, there's probably 30, 40 people that, that rush past. And the, the man who was holding open the, the door, uh, slams it shut. He said, uh, all the, uh, yes, uh, all the women and children to the altar, men, defend yourselves, protect the gold. And he is going to, uh, walk past you guys and, uh, he looks like a, a commoner, maybe a little bit more well-off, uh, dressed uh, a little nicer, but just a you know 
normal bearded guy at middle aged walks past through you with his torch. And then uh, as he goes to the second set of double doors, he turns back and his, as he's turning, his appearance changes and shifts and uh, forges uh, a new shape and uh, it seems to get a little bit bigger and the limbs a little bit longer. Uh, armor from the ground around you, there's just little, little pieces of metal or, or outright armor, uh, real armor, starts to like almost gravitate towards this figure and form uh, armor around the figure. And we must protect the gold. And his voice changes as well as he reaches down to the disc and drags it five feet and then 10 feet behind this door. And then he closes the doors. So a ghost just took broken armor and the disc and went to the other side of the door. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll I'll call out to the person who was in here. I guess who had called out from this direction and say, uh, "Do you know what the hell's going on in here?" Nice. So. Dun, dun, dun. A sad lady voice <laughs> uh, actually so yes a another figure appears and she walks out from this area and she seems to be uh, weeping uh, oh, sure. very solemn uh, still not acknowledging you but she's much more peaceful than the what had just happened seems to be a little bit calmer and more present than what just happened but she's gonna lurk you know, float across the room. How is she dressed? I have a question. Like highborn. Yeah. Uh, yes. Just well, uh, uh, upper middle class, maybe, I guess, uh, the, you know, they, they would, I would say not, um, I don't know. The Does highest she look class. like she's been contributing to her 401k. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Does no being an artificial being have the ability to see spirits? Uh, yes, I, w- I would say the artificial, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know that you have to have a soul maybe. to see a spirit. I was Although, just making sure because some people would argue with the fact. I mean, if you can loot a ghost, you can see, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you can shoot a ghost, you can loot a ghost. Yeah, what's up? Uh, it's, it's one of those existential questions you get as an artificial being. Am I real? Can I see things? <laughs> well, not artificial, just like synthetic. That doesn't mean, yeah. I mean, there's a whole Star Trek episode that covers this. I think <laughs> still has still has a, you know, electric soul or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Data, if data in next generation have a soul, then null has a soul. That's a... <laughs> null soul is just a bunch of ones and zeros. <laughs> I mean, what's ours? That's true. Yeah, <laughs> zeros and ones. How, how do you differentiate the two? <laughs> okay, uh, so as this ghost is floating by, I will uh try to hail her and get her attention. Okay. What do you say? Uh, I say, what happened here? Are you, are you one of the villagers who sought refuge? She'll uh, finally kind of snap out of it. And, um, what? Hello. And she, uh, at first doesn't seem to believe that you're there. It's almost like, um, you might see that shitty movie with uh, what's her name, the 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 others, with the uh, it's like the ghost. The whole movie. Uh, sorry, spoiler. It's old. It's an old movie. Uh, you think that the main characters are being haunted by these people because they keep getting freaked out or whatever. At the end of the movie, the twist. Oh, in my Shalomon, you realize. Oh shit, they were dead. They were the ghosts. They were the ones doing the weird shit. Hey, they that were the sounds ones. very familiar, like another M Night Shyamalan movie. Exactly. Yeah, so. <laughs> So, uh, 
anyway, uh, kind of like that deal. So she's very uh, confused at first that you're speaking to her, but she finally does realize that you are. Like, oh, okay, wow, this is happening. Um, am I one of the villains? Yes. Oh, hello, yes. Um, I should have had a name. Um, my name's Katie. Um, I I was to be wed. Uh, I was a um, man. Sorry, blah, 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 blah. Katie. Yes, I was one of the villagers. We were from Conneberry. Uh A hundred years past, we were uh, ransacked by barbarians. They attacked our town. We were forced to flee. And the town elders thought it best to congregate in the shrine. That was the safest place we had at the time. And several priests, or we had a priest in town who was uh, faithful to Savras. And we were convinced to, to hide in here. But um, tragically, we, uh, the, the barbarians, we, we, we were no match. We, uh, the best we could do was to hide our gold. Um, and we knew they were going to, they, that's all they wanted. They wanted to take the women. I don't know. Uh, these are animals. They, they could maybe eat some of the children. I have no idea what they're capable of, but they're, they're animals. But the best way we could think of was to melt our gold down and, and, uh, hide it. Is that the disc that I see depicted in these tapestries? Yes. What? We decided to put our gold together to create, to forge the gong with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, with this, we were hoping to use it as a, as uh, it's magic to fend off the barbarians. But unfortunately we, we weren't strong enough and we didn't know how to use it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it's it's still here, and there's a the the um, <clears throat> my father Henry was the strongest man, uh, and he died. He took out several barbarians, but he uh, he was the last one to fall. He was. It's his spirit <clears throat> who guards the gong, and if he can be can uh, he fears. That it's the barbarians. It, it, he he sees everyone pretty much as as a threat, as the barbarians, and it's like it's his last thing. His last mission is to just protect that, but it's hard to convince him that anyone's has good intentions. What could Ooh. help you help you be put to rest? Because. If, if there's any way that we can help you pass on, help you pass on. Thank you, Cal. Maybe that could be. So if we can get it to work for you, maybe we can help your father as well. It'll be hard to convince, but I, um, you could, I could, uh, perhaps talk him into calming down and, if you seek an audience. Well, we, yes, let's, let's go together. I think. And I look to the group. What you guys agree? Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> so you wanted to fight? <laughs> I guess I'm not. You just see Grike's right. grip loosen a little bit on the staff. Like, Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine, I won't kill him. I mean, he just, they, they're talking. He's like, I can hit the ghost in the face. I can hit the ghost in the stomach. <laughs> 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 so must stick really hard. Move and everything. Do I like <laughs> capture it in a bottle, or do I just wave my sword around it? Greg's <laughs> <laughs> thought process: bear, no bear. <laughs> <laughs> Do I go brown bear or polar bear? <laughs> Herball panda. Pull back from 3.5, go dire bear. Dire bear? Well, just considering the fact that we don't have a whole lot of spells, 
and sure. all that. <laughs> yeah. So I am trying to take the diplomatic approach. <laughs> oh, no, Look at Mando being diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> I, my character has been very diplomatic this campaign. <laughs> With those the pistols? most, one could say. <laughs> uh, she will. Yes, I will. I will. I will get his attention. I will summon him. And she like doesn't even move. She just kind of like closes her eyes and does a little ghost thing that you guys can't tell what's happening. And uh, beside her <laughs> will appear her father. Dun dun dun. Uh, next to next to the the maiden which uh you know she's fairly attractive um young uh around marriage age but you can tell by the way she's dressed she's probably not married yet uh but the there is no familial resemblance next to the the figure next to her this is clearly an uh an upset uh, spirit, and this this it stands about seven and a half feet tall with a a dark shadowy crown. Uh, again, the armor that's been just kind of piecemealed together from things that are lying around, and uh, a, a spooky long sword uh, that's oversized at his side, and it just a death stare with just a faint green glow instead of eyes. Uh, staring at you guys but he's not attacking uh well i i make sure that i'm not brandishing any weapons and uh, uh i guess speak up to did she mention her father's name henry henry uh First of all, does anyone else want to take the lead on, on talking? I've been talking a lot. Well, Greg has a wonderful negative one to anything he says, so probably not. <laughs> I'm an emotionless robot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll look to Cal as our, go. As our resident cleric. Help, yeah, help the spirit beat rest. <laughs> uh, so, I, so as this ha- as he like appears. I, I see a, like how foreboding he looks, and I go, "Whoop, you're up!" And I turn around <laughs> <laughs> and shove him forward. And Mango takes a step back because he doesn't want his armor to get dirty. I think the good Reverend oh, was going to st- step in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, some pre- prepared some words. Uh, <laughs> he'll pass on. So. Just um, explain. We're not bandits. We just took out some goblins, ogres, orcs, and uh, wondering how can we help them pass on, or do they need help passing on? Um, is he like is he like stepping forward like with? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a little confused. It's scary. Yeah, <laughs> going forward. <laughs> as, as you're talking, he's just getting closer, just staring down at you. By the time you finish your sentence, he's like, you're looking straight up, uh, and he's looking down. He is going to do. Actually, I'm going to do a. Do I need a roll? No, I'm. Oh, well, you can go ahead and uh, either persuasion or religion. And then I'm going to roll. Well, my persuasion is higher, so. So, yeah, do that. My persuasion is not. Well, I guess I only have a plus two. What do I have? Oh! 24. Nice. Hot nice. You got good charisma. So, the eerie green glow and, like, dominating uh, posture that he's uh, giving off. Uh, after Cal, with his um, divine speech, <laughs> gives uh, his plea to the wraith, he the the spirit relaxes a little bit, and he's not so uh, on guard now. He kind of scans Cal the way a predator would, uh, trying to you know check something out, see if it's cool or not, and um, <laughs> or, or whether he's about to eat it. Edible. <laughs> Starts sniffing him. Yeah. Just like sort of stand my guard. 
Just a little Bring taste. Around. Just a little lick. So he perceives no evil in Cal. He will ask you... Uh, actually, as he, he looks to his daughter, he'll step back and looks to his daughter, and he, the daughter will speak. And uh, they, they, they seem to, like, lock eyes for a second. And uh, as they're both floating there midair, and she'll... Uh, clearly something has, has transpired. She'll look at you guys, and she will say... Um, uh, my father does not believe you are evil. This is good. Uh, <laughs> but... Great to hear. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, what might you do to... Uh, I mean... She's like, how would that look like? <laughs> to rest our ease. Uh, we, we know that... Um, we, have, we have just recently been... Desecrated, not desecrated. Um, yeah, desecrated, desecrated by these these a mage that uh, stole it by force. We were not unable to stop her, so w- we've already been, uh, you know, man. Our our loot's been manhandled. We don't want to to fall into the wrong hands. But he doesn't seem to see any. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't know what the magic that you speak of that was infused into your gold to create this gong with the wind. What if it could be used tonight's title to to seek vengeance against this desecration? We are bringing the fight to this wizard and her cultists. Yes, we had her running away from us. Uh, make a persuasion check with advantage. Cal's, you're a friend of Cal. Right. Do, I will do you want me to roll persuasion? Or? Yeah, I'll, I'll assist you. Yours is just slightly better than mine. Okay, yeah, whoever, yeah. Okay, so you just roll twice? With, yes. <laughs> Bam. Well, it's okay, you're piggybacking on the 24th. <laughs> <laughs> That was horrible. Uh, so <laughs> she hears you. Ray's going to walk up. He's going to do the creep thing again. He's going to demando. He's going to see. He heard you talking. Uh, no, roll it. Okay. And that's actually into the true. So, okay, cool. So as the Wraith walks up to me, I'll take off my helmet and show him my face. Whoa! Excuse me. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you just don't do that in the middle of discussion. <laughs> I mean, not, like against not, your religion or I'm something not like like, uh, like Mando's hardcore. Don't show my face. I just wore the armor. I definitely feel like this is the first time everybody in the party has seen Mando's face. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were well, the I, armor. Yeah, I, yeah. I, you've I, rocked Grike's world. Grike was convinced he was. The lawyer robots. never moves his head. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Grike was. No, over here, like. Then you are find a lawyer no more. <laughs> Noel's over here is like I thought you were just another. War I have a hundred percent taken my helmet off before. I know I, I don't have. think you said. Yeah, that. I know. I don't. You activated your your light on your helmet when we started the battle. That's how I was able to see at first. I don't think he's taking off his helmet. I don't think so. <laughs> I thought you put on the captain's hat uh, on the helmet. That's what like, I thought. <laughs> oh, I did in that instance. Because we were still in a fight. I'm trying to persuade anyway. someone that I'm not going to do them, cause them ill will. So I take off the helmet. I like it. Okay. Well, you- I feel like all of our gasps of Mando removing his helmet should definitely give the role advantage for Delta for persuasion. No, that's <laughs> nice. And and also, like when that happens, uh, I mean, you guys are good guys. He's when it, what I'm doing here in the background is he's like scanning your like aura to see if he perceives your uh, alignment, and then uh, based on what he's like pseudo witnessed so far. So, uh, yes. He senses everyone is good so far. And when you do that, Mando, he is going to... I don't have another token. But uh, symbolically, he also takes off this shadowy crown of this 
this form and he reverts to a much more friendly form kind of like his daughter so just a normal ghost form not so angry and now he can like and his eyes are also normal looking the, the they're not the green glow and he i give him a non-safe dope helmet <laughs> <laughs> it, it dissolves too yeah he's like i know it's pretty sick um <laughs> i can tell that you are good people and i uh you say you will use this for good. You will use it to fight evil in some way. You use yes. it to fight the evil that desecrated this temple. Uh, and then he'll he'll say, I heard you talking about the magic. It, so he'll let you know that the there was no magic in the, the disc before today. This was a new development. Uh the the magic that we our priest was going to attempt this never took this was all we had produced was was a gong at this point uh but upon this morning with uh, yesterday morning i guess because it's been like a full day uh this this evil mage came in and i i tried my best and he kind of hangs his head in shame a little bit uh i was unable to stop her and uh after my attacks went, I, I just, I couldn't land anything if, uh, with all my power. All my rage was for nothing. This could never happen again. Not not for them. Especially not desecrated by Talos. If you use, if you uh, take this, this instrument, and uh, however you use it, if you do it in the name of Savras, then, uh, I can I can part with this, and my soul can be. I think we I can be go to rest. Oh, Cal's on I'll board. Give him a nod. Yeah, we can get this taken care of. All right. He uh he disappears. <laughs> Actually, oh. uh. Just, 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 yeah. you know, the, and like just <laughs> not yet uh, but, a bunch of fireflies not yet <laughs> uh, yeah the Lord of the Rings uh, not yet he just disappears in kind of a shadowy collapse thing and uh, you'll see um, Katie Katie she steps forward and uh, a slight tear in her eyes she uh, reaches forward to Cal with her hand and puts it on on his cheek and uh, she's got like a, a tear coming down. And she said, "Thank you all," and and she says, "Remember, uh, or not remember? I haven't told you yet, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will she leave you with one you. one thing. And whatever I can do, um, if if you ever are in a bind, and um, let's see, something to the effect of." Um, You have a ghost army at your behest. Oh, no, hell no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or something to ghost. the effect of if ever you are, if you need to, if you are wanting to know the outcome of something or, or need to know the next step on your path, or if you ever get lost on your way and you, you uh, want to know what the next step is or something like that, uh, remember that you can pray to Savras and. Um, <laughs> with advantage no no <laughs> no and and um you will have our support we uh, our family was always dedicated our our uh, village in fact we were very, we were very loyal and uh we, this message or vibe or whatever will deed will not go unnoticed and she now Katie yes does that thing where she like exhales and and one final exhale her her ethereal uh ghosty form just kind of separates a thousand uh, eyeballs yes <laughs> a bunch <laughs> of eyeballs because uh and then the doors in front of you open up as the uh gong gets dragged out kind of back to where it was 
who's dragging it out? It's just like magic. It's moving by itself. By itself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> moving by itself, and then when it stops, oh, and she's gone. Uh, Henry appears, the ghost of Henry next to it, and uh, he'll just kind of look at everyone, and uh, he doesn't say anything. He just gives like a, a thank you gesture, and he, as he bows down uh you know midway through his bow he starts to do the same dusty shimmering shimmering, thing so they are they are at rest right i just mutter small prayers that way they stay at rest (laughs) nice (laughs) and stay dead turns around and all and says you know i never understood organized religion (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I, I look over to to Cal and go. Did I just become a cleric? <laughs> oh, and also, Greg, this is how it starts. Says, You're not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, and Noel's over like I thought you were <laughs> Warforge. <laughs> no, I have flesh and blood. Everyone gave the label level of cleric or monk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to be a monk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a good triple multi-classed druid barbarian monk. <laughs> Extra damage. I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to be powerful because I'm going to start throwing weird shit around. Is there a limit to multi-class? You could be every class imaginable in D&D, could you? The problem is you have to have a minimum of certain the, stats to multi-class. To yeah. multi-class into it, a lot of times you have to have at least a 16 to an 18 in that core stat. 13. Multi-class into so, it. Yeah, well, uh, it's a 13 to just multi-class. But to be effective yeah. as a multi-class, you need to have you know right. common stats. Okay, so you can't yeah. beat every class that D&D and, is. Well, and unless a monk by itself is inherently really mad, so it's unless multi- you have all your stats above fifteen. Yeah, if you roll all eighteens, <laughs> sure. you can multi-class everything. I mean, no, it's just like you can be a human, take ba- like you can have base ten in almost everything, put two points into everything. You'll also get the plus one to everything if you go regular human, and you'll have like. A fourteen, mm-hmm. like a thirteen to fourteen, and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but to your point, being effective is just not really. Yeah, possible. that's yeah. 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 I mean, it's a plus two, and <laughs> you have a lot, of and cool then you can have a size later. Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot of the stuff you gotta really pick and choose because a lot of the classes don't really get effective things until higher levels, and like you gotta. Is it worth it to dip a level on this and mix one of the big capstone abilities and something else? Yeah. That's what I'm finding right now with is like, I want to multi class my sorcerer into a bard, but I know the next like level or two, the sorcerer gets a really cool ability at like level seven or eight and everything. That's like, mm, but bard, yeah. <laughs> All right. And, um, you know, walk over here and inspect this, uh, gong. The thong of the wind. (laughs) (laughs) Gong song. Now that's an idol. Oh, God. (laughs) Cal, you see this uh, gong. If you're trying to lift it, it's pretty heavy, uh, but you're able to. uh, And uh, it's it's got little little hammer marks all over, but it seems to be even like a pattern. Uh, Like it's it's hammered gold. So it it was it's not perfectly smooth. you see, it was quickly, crudely put together. Uh, there are no, there's, there's not like damage, damage to it. Uh, it's gold, so it would have, you know, bit, molded, bent a little bit upon impact. Uh, but as soon as you, yeah, dust, uh, dust away the, or never mind, there's no debris because it got dragged around. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, this is a Gong of the Wind. How much would and, you say it weighs? Oh, um, how much does one gold piece weigh? Uh, what, what, ounces. What are you determining a piece? So like, like 4,000 of those. <laughs> just put it this way, Sean. A standard gold brick from the U.S. Mint is, I think, somewhere around 60 pounds. 
So how many dragon marks comes out of that thing? Probably a thousand, so it's probably four gold bars worth, I would imagine. So four of those, yeah. So it's probably, probably heavy. Yeah, it's probably 150, 200 pounds. Pretty heavy. Because gold's Dang. heavy. Compacted gold, if you do it. Yeah, like especially if it's not gold plated and it's actually gold, yeah. that, that's going to be heavy. Yeah, a gold coin. If you did a pure gold coin, like a one ounce kind of gold coin, it does have a little bit of weight to it. It weighs one ounce. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you take a one ounce of gold and a one ounce of silver, the gold's always going to be heavy, feel heavier for some reason. Well, if it's denser, yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, I mean, ounce is a measurement of weight. So. Well, no, ounce no, right. Ounce. I'm just trying to give context. <laughs> yeah. To, and then there's 28 grams in and out, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want to go back to to school on, on on that, we could. Why do you know that so, offhand? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do not keep weight like unit measurements in your head all the time. All the time, you know, it's SAT stuff. <laughs> all the time. Okay, well, we gonna, so I guess I around. so I can take another 10 minutes at some point. <laughs> To maybe when we're doing our long rest, I'll I'll use a little bit of my downtime in the long rest to to do another ritual casting of identify on this. Well, well your you, identify says one minute. That's if he has. Well, no, it's that's if you use a spell slot to cast it. But if you oh, cast okay. it ritually, it's that casting time plus ten minutes. Gotcha. So I'll save you trouble there. I'll save you the time, and I probably didn't explain it perfectly it's just a gong it's there, there's no she was using it as a amplifier. catalyst i guess yeah. but it was her magic just being amplified by this gold it, it, i think it was just the fact that it's gold oh and well okay so while you're doing your ritual casting i could do uh, i could do the mending on oh, whatever items you guys want well, so there's no casting though, because it's not a magical item. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's a, just four thousand gold worth of. It's just a giant gold, gold. piece. Greg just walks up, bites it. it yep, that's just gold. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that. That was funny. I was I don't know where I was reading, but that's how they used to verify gold. It was literally bite yeah. the coin. Yeah, or, or if it whatever was plated, it was. you wouldn't. It would. It wouldn't dent if it was plated. If it was actual gold, yeah. it would. Your teeth could yeah. leave a mark in it. I thought. I kind of like. I grew up knowing that was a, a, a thing, but I didn't know if it was a real fact or just something somebody made up. And then I'm gonna. So in the, in the spot, I guess where, Henry and Katie, did their poof. I'm gonna. Put some more stuff in Das Loot. Okay. Uh, there is... Spirit Cloth. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to that. <laughs> Again, and dust. And a ghost. So, yeah, there you go. A wraith and a ghost. Four vials of ectoplasm from the ghost. When consumed, you can see into the ethereal plane for one hour. Fun. That is cool. It takes 14 days. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a long crafting time. I mean, well, I mean, it's a bag of holding. Yeah. Somebody I... deployed a ba uh, bob, which is a bag of beasts. It's a bag of holding that randomly generates a beast every single time. <laughs> yeah. I got so, punched. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, yeah, just go ahead. I was just gonna. I I got punched. We were in a cart in a mine, traveling downwards really, really fast. I wanted to get my full collapse in that to act as a break. Instead, of I pull out a uh, forearmed monkey that punches me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> or ape, not monkey, but you know. Not helping, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Josh. Why go ahead? Oh, I was just going to ask for the the one spirit cloth. Do we need to seek out more, or is one spirit cloth enough to make a bag of holding? One's well, enough to like, make one. It looks like we have two. We got yeah, there's one two total. Yeah. Each. Oh, so we can make two bags of holding? 
Yep. Yeah. yeah, the Wraith dropped one and the Ghost dropped one. Oh. I am going to I'm going to be very busy with my my abilities of creating magical items. If you guys had engaged in combat, it would have been more immediate loot, but not as good karma. Oh. <laughs> so good, good job. As a player, I definitely saw that uh, wailing woman come out. I was like, <laughs> we did. I'm like, crap. Grike would definitely hit this thing. The slightest provocation I was like, crap. Mm -hmm. Nope. And take diplomacy. <laughs> the second Mando was like, oh, diplomacy. Cool. I have an out. Have to as soon it. as Mando is like, I'm taking off my helmet. I'm like, I'm curious to see where this is going. I know, right? <laughs> what? Why is he doing the helmet off now? What special moment is this? <laughs> I, I, I don't feel like threat. it was a special moment. Like it's just. <laughs> I mean, how often do you talk about taking off your armor? Like, I mean, I feel like as a Mandalorian, that's kind of required. Yeah, we just we, we were leaning into the yeah the yeah, lore. Yeah. We, if I tell I me, mean, I'm my... I'm more of like a Boba Fett. Like, oh, okay, I, I okay, wear okay. the armor. Reformed. I, I am. I'm you not. Want to run him off? I'm not the culty it. type <laughs> in terms of like can't un, can't reveal my identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my my culture has been is around the technology and has been lost. And I'm I mean, me rebuild that. Like how many people are you going to get to like join your cause that never see your face? Noah's just over here like, I can't take off my armor. It would just be my skin. <laughs> <laughs> just some wires. Like, he sees you take off your helmet. It's like, is is Noel made of armor or made of skin? <laughs> yeah, Noel's like, wait, takes his head off. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, back. <laughs> he ponders endlessly. Is he made of armor or is it skin? <laughs> I am my armor. Or is armor made of him? Noel explodes, make a new character. <laughs> so we have uh, five vials of ectoplasm. Yep. We can get, get trippy for a little while. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, okay, oh, so... Oh, cool, you can throw it and it does darkness spell. Oh, the phantom does, yeah. That's cool. I'm into it, man. This is like add, this is fun for DMs, too. The, yeah, the we have, monster loot. We got four phantom dust. Five shadow flux. Yeah, phantom does seem cool. Okay, so now we can feel better about taking a long rest. It's true. Yes. Well, do we want to check the doors first? Uh, oh yeah, you want to check these other rooms? Make sure as well? I mean, I think we're gonna in the other room is gonna be a pile of skeletons. Mm, probably. With more loot. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> no karma. <laughs> what do you want to do? I mean, I'll peek my head in the door, like just to to see what was in there. Or I guess was the door? Did the door open when he dragged out the gong? So we like just would have. Yes, seen that door's yes, that door's open, and I'm gonna paste some more uh, loot. So the loot I'm pasting now, that was from the Grike and Null, the dead bodies that you guys scooted off to the side. Cool. Achoo! Salud. Don't forget the big ogre. More toes. In the ogre. Yeah, I need those toes. <laughs> Dude, we got some... I don't, we, won't need, we don't even have anywhere to spend all this gold. Like, <laughs> We can go destabilize a couple economies. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say uh, out of game. But well, no, in game. Well, well, they, well whatever. I'm the DM. Uh, <laughs> things are opening up now, so I we're at level four now, and also the campaign, like the story, things are opening up. So things are gonna start broadening away outside. Uh, Fandolin, uh, Retcon Five. The <laughs> I think a long time ago I said something like. Uh, who said it? Was it Nurverine? No. 
somebody said something about the Fandalorian um, Fandalorian ruins being like under Fandalin or something like that. that yes, um, she said. Well, no, we we retconned that to up being up north, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. Good. Retcon too many retcons in. Yeah. <laughs> too many retcons. We retcon that retcon. <laughs> What happens when you bag of holding a bag of holding? Like, <laughs> creates a black hole. It, it yeah, creates an hole. annihilation yeah. sphere. <laughs> retcon, retcon. Oh, um, speaking of annihilation sphere, random tangent. Uh, Josh, are you interested in the level 21 shot I'm working on? I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> I'm shooting for somewhere around the Halloween weekend, and we're talking level 20 legendary magic item multiple epic boons and multiple feats. Okay. Because I'm coming hard. And I've got something <laughs> that's going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's a little later in the evening and, you know, kind of same time as this, then I okay. should be able to make it. Okay. Is yeah, it online or is it in person? I was going to try for an in-person one. I live about five, four or five minutes from Sean. I live about 45 minutes from Sean. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where any of you live. Uh, up here in Louisville. That's about thirty-ish minutes for me. Okay, yeah, we're, cool. uh, might be closer to Daniel because he just hop on thirty-five uh, east. It's over here. It's true. Okay, there's the one ogre. I had to go back and. Good. Um, Need my toes. Oops, I didn't. Well, congratulations on the toes. I forgot to change it, so now it's seventeen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The ogre has ten toes. Why did he have so many toes? <laughs> I just wanted. He had a new special tape. ogre. This guy's a freak. Now we have thirty-four toes. Excellent. <laughs> well, that's what happened from the first one too. Uh, this is already weird. This, this one's uh, he just had some toes in his pocket. He was collecting. Right, like two hidden feet behind his other feet. Toger over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, that's a ton of loot. That's a I, like props to you. Yeah, John. that's a metric ton. Yeah, yeah, that is um. <sighs> this is where I'm gonna do like moving forward. It also helps me like uh, just be even immersed in the battle and stuff. Okay, so I don't know if we need to like create a uh, a sled or something out of some fallen trees and <clears throat> some to like haul all this stuff around. Lifilus may be able to help, but yes, we uh, want to take Lifilus apart. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it like? Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, oh shit, the guy with the clock. Where's the, the the rapper? Oh, uh, oh, flavor flavor, flavor flavor, yeah, <laughs> lipless with this gong around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so um, looking. you guys are pretty much maxed out this main room. If we want to look into the for the uh, the uh, altar room, yeah, we wanted to just quickly take a peek in there just to see if there's anything worth looking at. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is there more toes to collect? <laughs> so in here, toes for? <laughs> I actually jumped the gun earlier when I started describing it uh, about the four humanoid skeletons and tattered priestly vestments. That was actually supposed to be this room. I was, okay. I jumped the gun there. Uh, didn't end up mattering. You guys got through it anyway. But um, so now that you're in this room, Hold on to your butt. No, no, nothing's what? coming. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll scoot everybody over there. No, no, no. It, no, no, no more. Um, now that you're in this room, uh, you see those four skeletons. I will bring them to just just so you see what they are. Not They're all dead. No. And then behind them is an altar. And uh, the, yeah, they're lying. <clears throat> it looks like they were praying to the altar. They're lying in front of it, the stone altar. It's sit and the altar is situated in an alcove and carved into the front of the altar 
is a huge, uh, like it, it covers up the whole bulk of the side of it, is an eye, very familiar to the paintings in the main part. Symbol of, so of Sovereign. Well, so yeah, it's a symbol of Sovereign. So, I'm going to, do you guys think I should, like, take that, because the gong is like a big disc or whatever, which is kind of eye-shaped, should I take that disc up to the altar and, like, create an impression of, like, in the gold that matches the eye? Like, I can use my tools to recreate the symbol of Savras into the gold. That way we have a uh, focusing for. Yeah, Sovereign's. it would. It almost yeah. be like a like a giant holy symbol. Yeah. Because it is their their gold, so that would. Uh, I'd be down for that. Yeah. Down to try to help you out with that. I don't, I don't think a cow can do that, but. <laughs> well, I mean, so, I, I think I have the skill. Yeah. But it's just a matter of taking the time to do it is more the question. So you're dragging the gong up to the altar? Yeah, I think can so. We, are we even able to? Like, It's 200 pounds, so like between Cal and I, we could just like, you know, I mean, two-man it. Okay. Greg was picking up. Yeah, I was being <laughs> <laughs> Strap it on the shell. I'm, I'm not the strongest individual. <laughs> also, you can roll it. It's, <laughs> it's gong, 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 gong. <laughs> <laughs> so who's, who is, I'll just move these skeletons. They're just there for, okay. Mando, are you the, who is, <laughs> who's the first? I'm the one the performing this act. Okay, good. Uh, as you I am beside him. fix the, um, I guess you were resting the gong up against it, or are you on top of it, or you do touch the altar? Who? Yeah, I, like I, I, I would kind of set the gong on top of the altar like a plate on a table. Okay, Cal, you're helping him. You guys are kind of do the same thing. Yeah. I'm trying okay, to help so steady lifting, it. Lifting, uh, I was, okay, uh, here we go. Here we go. The here's first. Your, here's your fight, Greg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Dun, no, dun, as, uh, as. Greg eats it. This is a really heavy gong, right? It, and it's round and it's, uh -huh. it, it's the size of it in, in the way, meaning it's, it's, uh, it's still quite thin, um, uh, to, in it, for it to take up like, a. It's probably four feet in diameter, I'll say. So it's it's been hammered down. It's very thin, but this thing is obviously 200. What did you say? 200, 200 feet pounds. So it's 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 very awkward to try to to situate and as as it being so large and uh, top heavy, I guess. So as you're sitting it up there uh, and you getting your weight all adjusted, um, I'm gonna say Cal and Mando just for just cause. Simultaneously, both of you make contact as you're trying to set down the gong with the altar here of Savras. And uh, both of you, uh, in an instant, receive like a, a flash comes over you. You both step up, uh, you, your back straighten, you look at each other, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're, you're experiencing a vision. You fly through the roof of the, the shrine where you are up uh, at least like a uh, hundred meters straight up into the air and then like a uh on a on a dime turn you fly what feels uh eastward and and you can see the sun coming up or it's already up at this point or whatever but you're you're flying faster than anything that's possible uh cal you were just recently on the back of a dragon that was pretty fucking fast this is even faster way too fast for any living being as you soar over the the road you see the tribor the trail beneath you and uh the the trees going uh faster and faster you head toward the mountains and uh you 
it's snowing now. You it, faster and faster up to a uh, what seems to be a castle in the in the top top of the of the mountains, and you see uh, zooming in closer. You you go to the the roof of this castle, and it's snow covered. And real quick, you, you fast, uh, closer still. You are now face to face with this. This is. Um, with Eisendraug, the white dragon you've already encountered uh, before, and it's almost as if you're, uh, oh, oh uh, Game of Thrones when when uh, Bran did his uh, warging or what was it called when he did the warging, yeah, war, yeah. Warging, so he, yeah. it's it's like that almost. And as you as you uh, Cal, you start to reach out because you don't know quite understand what's happening, and uh, as you reach out, uh, the white dragon seems to like uh, snarl and look up and make eye contact for just a half second before boom, bah, you're back in the sky uh, uh, flying toward uh, the opposite direction this time away from the mountains, down the mountains across the uh, forest again over the fields <laughs> through the woods and then uh, now you're heading Grand toward what you can see is the is the ocean and uh, it, it seems to be that uh, there's a lighthouse on this gnarly looking uh, rock face and uh, it zoom closer, closer. You guys fly into the top scene and uh, you're in this top floor of this uh, tower and you see a beating heart at the center. Uh, it's been, en it's enlarged and it seems to be floating in midair and uh, there's like electricity uh, coming off of it. There's like dark, gnarly uh, metal apparatuses everywhere. And uh, this the sound of like pain and people screaming uh, from down below. And then if you look out toward the ocean, there's a figure standing, <clears throat> uh, filling out the silhouette. As it, he, uh, and um, at that moment, a portal opens up and the figure has its back to you. Portal opens up and steps through uh, the female mage. You guys had just, um, encountered before and this female mage addresses uh she speaks she takes the hood off of her her head and you can see that it uh is a, a half ogre uh, no sorry a half orc uh female uh mage the the light the, the storm mage and she kneels before this figure in this tower and says moesco we failed, the, the, the phalanx failed the first round. The, our forces were were overtaken. We fear they may be onto us. And you hear a voice. Uh, uh, let them come if they want. It won't be a problem. And then uh, he turns back to where y'all's point of view, uh, Cal and Mando. He's like, I'm sure of it. And he smiles and he's kind of a, I'm, I'm imagining like a Palpatine vibe. He's covered and, and he looks at you guys. And, all, and when he does that, but you guys are instantly back in the shrine. He gets blasted back, uh, dropping the gong on top of the altar. Cal to the left, Mando to the right, fall on your back. Having just experienced this uh, vision. Everyone else in the room just saw you guys Put the gong down, look at each other, freak out, fall down. <laughs> so that uh, happened in like a span of a couple of seconds. Yeah. <laughs> for, for us, time passed a lot slower. But, uh, yeah. So I, I look up and I like, I, I say out loud, I'm not getting paid enough to get this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I gotta reevaluate this dude's bounty. He's <laughs> like, you know, the, the baddest dude around right now. Um, uh, I look to Cal and say, did you, did you, did you see that too? Did, did that happen? <laughs> Did you see the uh, the white dragon? Yeah, yeah, we fought we fought that dragon before. Uh, oh, he you fucked us up pretty good. <laughs> and then a, a beating heart and a uh, a lighthouse. The beating heart, I did not understand. 
Well, but it seemed like that was definitely Moesco, who that portal wizard just kneeled, knelt to. So we uh, definitely got our work cut out for us. And I'll look back to the other two and just be like, and just kind of shrug like. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of stuff to. We're going to need that army. <laughs> that orc army. <laughs> I need a couple armies. Cool. Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to type this out. And I'm like, uh, I'm spelling all these names wrong. <laughs> here, I'll, uh, let's see. We got Eisendraug. She's the white dragon you guys encountered. And then Moesco. Yeah, hey, I almost got the drog, right? And then, uh, unnamed. I'll explain to Cal that, uh, Moesco is my, my current bounty. I'm a, I'm a bounty hunter. And came, I came to Phandalin in search of Moesco. Yeah, and they also encountered, I think, when the Furious Five, they also had a bounty. I think Riordan Irathrana uh, had. So many people want Moesco dead. And this uh, Storm Mage that we fought off is a uh, half orc that was speaking to yeah. Moesco. Yes. I mean, I'm getting I'm getting Gul'dan vibes from Moesco, not not Palpatine or not <laughs> Palpatine. <laughs> so we know what that's the, true. Uh, He's not powerful enough to be Palpatine. So, <laughs> so Sovereign, Sovereign, Sovereign. Yes. Um, I take it showed us this vision where. Okay. <laughs> where uh, Eisendrog is at the moment and where Moesco is. Uh, Moesco said that he's not afraid of us and well, they, that, that mage re me. just recounted our, our victory here and Moesco seemed very unafraid. I didn't join you on your religious experience because I don't partake of that stuff, but it would seem that Moesco would be easier than the dragon. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the moment. <laughs> I mean, with all the magic that's being hurled around by these Talos acolytes, maybe a dragon's not so hard. I mean... And we could, again, we could... Uh, just gotta whittle them down. Help the uh, orcs reclaim their homeland and increase their number, and you know, further solidify our alliance. It's true. But we definitely need more allies in the uh, the group that is that we had a conversation with back in Fandolin, the Lords Alliance, and the. Uh, yes, the harbors and the all that, all the people involved there. Yep. Um, so let's uh, let's get this eye carved into this gold disc, <laughs> the gold gong. Yeah. So I'll and take my uh, I'll take my my gun, which produces <laughs> heat, a heat source, and just start. Firing it into the gong to kind of heat it up and make it a little more malleable. And uh, then I'll start to shape the, the symbol of Savras into it. Nice. So that it's not like scoring it and scratching away gold, but just right. more pushing it to the side <clears throat> and creating the symbol. Nice. Do you want to do a skill check for that? Like to see how yeah. good it is? Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be beautiful. What would that be? What's a... uh, I, I'll just use my my Smith's tools. Smith's tools, yeah. But actually, 
I've got these set as different. I've got dice set, smith tools, and tinker's tools. Would he get any advantage or anything if, if I'm sitting there helping him hold it still? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll roll that with advantage. That'll do it. Looking pretty good. <laughs> Should probably make those all separate. Is that like an anime eye? Like just a big arch with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but cool. Uh, and then the. When the gong fell, uh, it struck the altar, which now you can tell there's a it, there was a lid before. You couldn't tell it was it seemed flush, but now it has been uh, shifted, and the the lid is slightly ajar on top. Oh, I inspect. Are you saying we should loot it? I don't know. I, I inspect what's inside. I'm not hmm. looting. I just want to see what's in there right now. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, reach inside uh with a little bit of effort you're able to push the top aside and there are loose coins inside you can tell uh this was probably not part of the gold like the uh the great coin melting initiative this is probably like independent of that but uh all the loose coins together it, it uh would add up to um 320 gold pieces I should have broken that down, but total 320 gold and a large key. A large like a, key. Okay. Is this, uh, is this a Zelda dungeon now? <laughs> well, do we immediately see anything that has a, I am the key master. Or are you the gatekeeper? <laughs> uh, no, we not. We see a not. large keyhole anywhere. <laughs> not immediately there's nothing in, in this room uh that you've seen that's like that or that would you know well i'll grab the uh oh the sorry key. and you notice there is a question mark worked into the head of this key a question mark in the key okay i will take the key leave the gold to uh, state that there's gold in here and then uh, but well, I guess begin looking for a question mark uh, scrawled along the wall or uh, yeah, some sort of indicator start doing an investigation yeah go ahead and uh, roll, yeah, roll for investigation is anyone helping him I just want the gold <laughs> I, I was I was thinking we should take the gold to help fund our uh, army we're gonna need to take on this guy. Oh no, because... we'll we'll take the gold. I'm just not taking it <laughs> right now. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, right now, right now. Okay, I'll do it alone. Nice. Oh, natural hey, twenty. Like nice. you needed help. <laughs> <laughs> so you are. You see everything. Uh, there are just more of the kind of the eye artwork uh, inspired symbolism uh, everywhere. There are no keyholes and there's definitely no nothing with a question mark. Uh, mm. And you get the feeling, well, maybe this has got nothing to do with. <laughs> but, and they just came out. They just came in. All right. Do you think that maybe the question mark doesn't have anything to do with this shrine? Right. Uh. Like, it just looks really out of place. It looks like um, something that is not part or was not part of like the everyday uh, items of this shrine. It, this is like something that's been dropped here. Uh, maybe okay. Maybe the villagers, but whatever. It's it's all right. Cool. Then I'll just pocket it for later. Okay. And uh, make a mental note to 
yeah. investigate it further. I'll say if you guys want to talk to some some magic folk, or if you wanted to identify later or whatever, that we could have some more information. But but uh, right now it's just a mystery. Key. Potentially, it's a skeleton key. <laughs> So. I, so I asked group, how are we dealing with gold? Are we having one person hold it? <laughs> yes, me. <laughs> we do Joe it. We share our amount of time spent with the party. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, you're, you're new, so you get 3%. You get four gold. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> it should be... Well, I'm not in... Sessions well, played. Not necessarily new players, but sessions played. Damage oh. taken. There you go. <laughs> no, no, damage taken. Damage Whoever taken? Paid. Okay, you're just Whoever's cornering taken. yourself. That's oh. <laughs> uh, how shiny your ass is. <laughs> um, well, um, so, I mean, there is a lot of stuff here. We do have the means of creating our own bags of holding if we actually want to spend a few weeks of downtime. <laughs> I don't imagine everyone would be on board with that. But I won't. <laughs> I will present the option. I don't know if I want to spend two weeks <laughs> in here. I don't know. Two bags of holding, though. Hmm. <laughs> but two weeks is a long time. I mean, that person could be anywhere by then. Yeah. Well, we'll. I'll, I'll, we'll have to like start tracking our downtime of spending long rests. Yeah, the, I'll say um, the hours of, of long rest downtime. Two weeks the, downtime wouldn't uh, long term campaign. No, no repercussions. Short term things. Maybe I would make some. Ch I would have to progress some things locally. Yeah, but, it, I mean, that would be an extreme option. We, we probably need to be a little more choosy about what we're taking with us in terms of mm -hmm. loot if we're otherwise, because there's no way we can haul all this stuff. I mean, in Schrodinger's wagon, we can, for sure. You get your wagon. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have a wagon full of bodies. Yeah. Yep. They all have care capacity. Okay. <laughs> Start loading everybody up. Mr. Bizzle gets on. Why do I have 47 broken scimitars? Yeah. <laughs> What's all these toes for? <laughs> <laughs> Give all the toes to Mr. Business. <laughs> Thanks? He'll just, he'll just chew on them. <laughs> yeah. What did you... In I'm, okay. I'm really interested to see what you guys do with all this loot. It's going to be something to be teaming now, so we'll Absolutely see what happens. Absolutely nothing. We're going to completely ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all there, there's obviously Later. very easy things for us to take. All the broken weapons and armor. Because I can mend them and then we can resell them. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. yeah, but are we adventurers or armor salesmen? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> We're adventurous armor salesmen. <laughs> I mean, we adventure first, collect the loot, and then we sell it. Oh, and then we retire, what we could right? do is take the broken weapons and armor repair it, go back to the tribe of orcs there we and go. give it to them to arm their equip arm our the army for that, free. Yeah, equip our army. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That's big like rainbows it. over here. <laughs> we got a massive amount of gold in this gong is great. Just gotta kick the gong. <laughs> what do we need? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's equip our hey, army. That's my future holy symbol you're kicking there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, I, yeah, maybe I melt all the gold down and, like, and uh, gild all of my armor in, like, golden... Finery. Finery I, was, eyeballs. Yeah. I thought eyeballs. about that, but, like, on Noel's kind of thing, like, his, his body just, like, puts gold... Like I mean, I feel like we've got enough gold. We can melt it down in a pot, and we can gold dip Mando and Null. I feel like <laughs> 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 Mando and Null. I've got Super Saiyan. I guess oh, yeah. it's up to the DM how much molten gold damage does. Oh, God. <laughs> Negligible. It's worth it. Well, as long as the... 
as long as it will help us defeat the anybody covering gold gets, uh, advantage on charisma based checks and <laughs> but disadvantage on everything else because you're really shiny and really yeah. heavy <laughs> disadvantage on stealth yeah for sure I already have disadvantage but on stealth expertise in drip <laughs> swag <laughs> swag <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, do we want? We got like twenty-ish minutes left. Do we just want to call it and run with like doing all like divvying this stuff asynchronously, or do we want to try and just bang it out right now? I mean, I feel like with the stuff that's there, I really feel like because in the day, I don't feel like any of us are going to be like, <laughs> oh no, I really want that one particular broken simasar. So for the most part, I feel like we just party loot for the most part until we get unless it's like a magical item then we call this but i feel like party loot yeah. should just be like party loot it's just a the bank of the party yeah P pretty much yeah like, that's that's why i was asking about the gold well uh it has been stated greik doesn't know the concept of money so greik doesn't use money uh mr business has <laughs> uh, done the two transactions and ends for greik so far <laughs> So Greg doesn't actually can't hold gold at all, ever. Yeah, I mean, with this kind of loot, Mando doesn't see a whole lot of uh, need in, in bounty hunting right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, how much is that bounty again? <laughs> like, yeah. oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I just got 4,000 gold and his bounty was for, what, a few hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that bounty needs to go up. Um, sounds like the uh, the adventuring is taking a higher priority than than the bounty itself. But now when I you make four thousand gold. <laughs> uh, but now, but now it's personal. I gotta I gotta take out Moesco for the for my honor. Ooh. Get that uh, storm mage and helm. We gotta. Honor leads to pride. Knock him down. Pride leads to hatred. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so one thing I do want to do, since I just did get a vision from Savras, is uh, so I'll, I'll prop Mando will probably do this kind of on his own, as as the the group is looting and sorting and all that stuff but he'll take a moment at the shrine and take a knee and uh, and and say to himself Savras you you showed me the path that lies ahead can you show me where my people are and where the where my where the lost technology of my people can be found. Lifferis has, has helped, sh helped me pointed me in the right direction in the short term, but I seek to restore my people and my the technologies that were once lost. And he'll, he'll like kind of hand, hands to the gong knee kneeling down, kind of trying to, trying to focus it. Okay. Uh, not, you know, that's, that's what he does. Um. So nothing happens, <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. You didn't die. <laughs> uh, how do so, I? Do this so now? basically, so he he does that, and he stands up starts to table roll the, the gong away out of the room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, outer game, I'll say, in a roundabout way, he show, you, you are on the path. He has shown you things that puts you on the path to that. But asking for it outright, that's... Eh. Well, no, no, so, like, it's, it's in-game, like... You know, he's just like yeah, no, I know, yeah, yeah, making I a know. prayer. He just, but he, 
and he heard you, but like he just showed you pretty much. He's like, yeah. Well, Mando doesn't know that. That's a, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he, I imagine he's like he's seen your prayer. He's like a, watching the TV. He's like, oh yeah, no. It just anyway, next. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have his blessing for sure. Not like in a in a mechanical way, but um, you guys are on Savers's good side uh, now. I'll say that. Okay. Don't take this as a negative thing that you didn't get a new vision. <laughs> no, I, I was not expecting a new vision. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm planting seeds for future sowing. Yes. Okay. Good. You get a yes. thumbs up. <laughs> you get Is there a, anything to be looted in these other rooms? Receipt message. Message read. <laughs> if you were to go to the other rooms, you would find uh, kind of more of the same stuff, but. Uh, Another chest full of three three hundred go. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> Seventeen more toes. It's just toes. <laughs> more toes. A room, it's just of a toes. room full of toes. No, <laughs> there no more uh, anything of value. Um, you see, one area used to be like kind of a working kitchen. It's long gone. Everything's everything's uh, gone. It's ruined. I, just, I think all the giant's them. toes need to be added to Mr. Business's inventory. So the next time he gets on, <laughs> wait a minute. Can't. How many giants does y'all kill? <laughs> uh, it, it needs to be like a necklace of giant's toes. Yeah. <laughs> so with that many toes, you put it all on the necklace. It's a, it's a cloak. It's a cloak, of it's a cloak of toes. Yeah. Scale mail of toes. <laughs> Scale mail of toes. I mean, it should be armor. It's toe mail. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I definitely feel like that should be a wearable armor. Yeah. It's just charging in battle. The enemy's like, what the fuck? What is that it's smell? Like yeah. The only thing I question is how often you have to cut the nails. I'm hoping they keep growing after they're chopped yeah. off. Right? Do they just live crazy and they occasionally break off and that's how they... <laughs> They're like shark's teeth. They just break off and they grow new ones. Right. Or the goblins are like lampreys. They just chew on the bigger ones. And <laughs> Gross. Oh. So yeah, the Shrine of Savras. Shrine of Savras. Has been... That, that rumor uh, proved to be quite true in terms of there being treasure at the Shrine yeah. of Savras. Capital T. <laughs> <laughs> That explains all the lightning bolts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, if level two business boys had tried this, uh, I don't know if it had gone over so well. <laughs> no, it would not have. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Three times we would, would have not have had the, uh, the uh, bubble protector uh, providing so much temp HP. That was crazy. Yeah, it, it was literally the bubble protector <laughs> and resistance that helped for the most part. That was, the, that was it. Level two, I wouldn't. We didn't have either of those. I mean, even our level two fight at the farm was intense. Yeah, that was two. That was. I think y'all were three for that one. Uh, oh, wait. We were Butter Skull Ranch. You were three. Yeah, we were. And three. then yeah, yeah, because we again we leveled up right before that started. Umbridge Hill, you were one still, I think, or no, no, two, level two. We were two at Umbridge Hill. Yeah. yeah. The road to Fandolin, you were level one. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But yeah. Right, so are we resting here? Or are we going back to uh, taking mm. everything back I to think, these ogres? The orcs? I think we or, finally do our long rest. Orcs. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I think, we, yeah we rest, rest here. here. Yeah. You get the feeling All you right. have cleansed the shrine of the demons. And we're, yeah. Safe to long. Y'all can do long rest uninterrupted. We can uh, pick back up, I guess, at the probably the end of that day. Mm-hmm. And Session sixteen. Yeah. Does anybody know what day we're in of the campaign? Like in game time. Five. I think it's five. Yeah, about five or six. Not, not long. <laughs> we might be going into six now. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is day six that we're going to start. Or I guess it's technically started today. Love it. 